Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Minster High School, where tonight the homestanding Wildcats welcome in the St. Henry Redskins. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And, Gilly, we've got a different kind of matchup tonight. We've got one team in St. Henry who's lost four in a row, and you look at the Minster Wildcats, they've won three of the last four after a, an opening season loss to Fort Laramie, 27-39. Yeah, this is a game for Minster. If they want to, con, you know, can stay in the contention for the for the league championship or have an opportunity, they're already one game short right now sure. with Coldwater Marion local three and zero. It's a big game for them. St. Henry. It's one of those where they've had their bugaboos early in the season. They got the opening win, like you said, but then they were having problems, you know, utilizing the, both the run game and the pass game, and and unfortunately, you know, they're coming in one and four, but. Uh, this is always a, you know, an entertaining game, and you know as well as I do, when you play the MAC games, you got to be prepared every Friday night. Absolutely. Our pregame keys tonight are sponsored by Machine Concepts. Your workday should start at Machine Concepts. Come for your career, stay for your success. MachineConcepts.com are our pregame keys. Let's take a look at our keys, Darren, for the visiting St. Henry Redskins. For St. Henry, offensively, they need to establish a balanced attack, move the, move the football on the ground for positive yards, and then set up their passing game. Defensively, they got to make sure they take care of, of the quarterback number 12. We all know about him, his legs and his arm, and that run uh, pass option that they run, and they do a very good job. So defensively, St. Henry's got to contain him. And then three, I think special teams is going to play a part in this tonight for them, fundamentally in the kicking game as well as tackling when they're kicking uh, the football to Minster. For Minster, number one, take care of the football. They cannot put the fall, but football uh, in the opposition's hands, whether it be on the ground on a fumble or through the air on an interception. Two, be fundamentally sound defensively. Stay in your lanes, uh, play your responsibilities, and make sure that you tackle, whether it be uh, group tackling or individually. They need to make sure that they get a hold of somebody and they put them to the, to the ground. And then three, I believe they have to play at a high level in all phases, whether that be offensively, defensively, and special teams. It's St. Henry visiting Minster. It's the Midwest Athletic Conference. You're watching high school sports right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School. Minster and St. Henry tonight. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert. High School Football here on WOSN. And Darren, you take a look at the visiting Redskins from St. Henry. They come in at 1-4, 0-3 in, in the MAC. Offensively averaging 14-6 a game, which is last in the league, but defensively giving up a whole lot of points at 23 points. So they got problems all over the field. What do they got to do tonight to get back in this thing? Well, you know, I just looked in, at, at the roster. There's not a whole lot of seniors right, on this right. team. Right, right. It is so a young team. This could be a rebuilding situation for them. And the confidence builder here is they got to get a stop right here. They want to take Minster, put them in a third and long situation, or, or make them punt the football and play with confidence. And when you start doing good things, your confidence level will will, will increase. And Absolutely. So St. Henry kicks off. Minster will take the first possession of the game. Oh, nice open field tackle there by number 35. Chase Litmer, the nice senior, job. stepped up, made the open field tackle. So here come the Minster Wildcats, 3-2 and two on the year, 2-1 and one on the MAC. Offensively, they average 26.8 a game. Defensively, they give up 25.6. They've won three of their last four. They will be led on the field by number 12, quarterback Brogan Steffi. The 6'1", 165-pound sophomore is 67 of 107 for 862 yards, five touchdowns and one interception. Darren, he also leads the team in rushing with 578 yards. As Brogan Steffi goes, the Wildcats Absolutely. Go. That's one of the keys. They've got to contain him tonight, both his arm and his legs. Steffi's in the gun. He's got a single set back. He's got a man in motion and two to the left. Snap back. Steffi rolls to his left. Throws back to the right. He's got oh, his man he's out there. He's got a wide open he's set, a, doesn't he? Yes, he's down the sidelines. He's taken off. He's got one man to beat, and he's pushed out of bounds. That's number 81 for the Wildcats. Charlie Schmeasling, the 6'2 junior, hauls it in, and he takes it for about 35 yeah, Her yards. Harrison Wendell, number 28, run him out at the boundary. That one there, you know, even though it was a, a lot of yards being chewed up right there by Minster, St. Henry did a pretty good job closing to the football because from our vantage, right. it, it, was, it was huge. The hole was there, and good job there running them down by 
Harrison Wendell, another senior, 5'10", 185 pound linebacker. So there you see Brogan Steffi's versatility rolls to his left and everybody from St. Henry thought he was gonna go that way. He turns back around, low snap, Steffi picks it up. He's under heavy pressure, takes it up the middle. He's gonna get back to the original line of scrimmage, which is a feat in itself. Sure did. Harrison Wendell on the stop. You're going to be calling that name a lot tonight, mm -hmm. <laughs> Harrison Wendell. He's going to be a tired kid when yeah. the game's over. Very good defensive player for the Skins. You know, we can all sit here and joke about, you know, Mr. Steffi. We've watched him enough in basketball. Yes, you put yeah, a absolutely. rim out there, he's going to he's gonna knock it down from all parts on the football field tonight, too. So, really good athlete. And, you know, obviously in the scouting report, he's going to be the focal point for St. Henry tonight against Minster. Our premier sponsor tonight is the Minster Bank. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. So here's Steffi in the gun again, a single set back. He's going to hand off the back. He goes up the middle. He's going to be taken down by a host of Redskins, gain of about two yards. Looked like Wendell on the stop with his teammate, Dehan. There's number 27, Justin Bergman on the carry, the 5'10 junior. 180 pounds, goes up the middle. Nice job by the St. Henry defensive line to stop the run there, Darren. They really gang tackled here, a lot. Here, here it is, the situation, third and long. 10.31 to go here for Minster. Score knotted up at zero. First possession for the Wildcats. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Memorial Field here at Minster High School. Steffi's in the gun. He's got a single setback. He's got an offset tight end who goes into motion. One on the right, one on the left. Steffi with the ball, throws off to his left side, and he's going to bounce that one. He was under heavy pressure. Sure he took was. a hard hit. And, it, and look, for the first play that St. Henry gave up, they really recovered well, and now you're sitting at fourth and eight. Yeah, you know, a lot of credit goes to Elijah Horseman right there with a blitz. He put it, put uh, Mr. Steffi in an uncomfortable situation, and he had to get rid of the football very quickly and didn't make the contact right. with his receiver for that first down yardage. So Brady Wolf goes back into punt formation. Number nine for the Redskins, Hayden Beckman, and number 18, Kellen Hoying back deep. Nice high kick, and it's fair caught at about the 24-yard line. That's where St. Henry will take over. So, look, they gave up the big play. They hold them on defense. Now you come on an offense. you got to make something happen. Establish the running game yep. right here. Establish the running game. Get some positive yards. That will set up your passing game. St. Henry comes out. They will be led by Curtis Putoff, the 5'11", 165-pound junior. On the season is 35 of 94 for 385 yards. Two touchdowns. The problem here, he's got four interceptions, so they've got to keep those turnovers down tonight if they're going to do anything. Rushing yards per game, they get about 127 a game. Passing yards, only 80 a game. So they've got to be a little more dynamic in the passing game. We'll see how that goes tonight. Here comes put off in the gun. He's got two. One to the left, one to the right. He's got two slot receivers. He's got one on the left. He's got a man in motion. This is put off, hands the ball off, and immediately a flag. And that was number 32, Logan Dehan with the carry. And that ball's going to come back. Illegal procedure by the skins. And, and that, this is exactly what, what has plagued them all year, Darren, is mistakes. And when you get back against a team like Minster, who's got all the momentum, and they've got you back deep, you cannot make these silly mistakes. Mm, this is going to be a possession of uh, a field position right here. I was just looking. They've got their left tackle, six foot five, three hundred and thirty pounds, <laughs> and they were going to go right. Right behind him right there. And right I, it, for the well, false start. We should be broadcasting from a kid that size. Oh, my, go oh my goodness. There's, he just took that one lineman and just put him to the ground. Guess who's out leading it? And there is a nice play from Putoff out to number 28. That is Harrison Wendell, but there that ball, that's coming back. Where yeah, was a, that's my concern. Yeah. It's either a clip or a hold, one of the two. I believe you're going to see a block in the back by the Redskins. We saw a hold at the line of scrimmage. One of those two, yeah. They're going to go holding on St. Henry. So that the second play here that's negated another game. Yeah, they they had they had running room because Mr. Quinter was out in front, 6'5", 330 pounds. Plays both ways on the defensive <laughs> line and left tackle, and he is a massive human oh, being. Oh my goodness Dustin gracious! Quinter. Yeah, he took he took the defensive lineman and put him right to the ground, right there, right before the pass was established. That's a great call by St. Hunter, and unfortunately, that turnover bug or not turnover, but uh, excuse me, that that penalty flag there backs him up again. Here comes put off in the gun. He's got three to the right. He's going to roll to the right. Looks downfield. He throws long down the right side. He's got a man out there, and it's picked oh, off. That's a, that's picked off nice by ball. number 10 from Minster. 
brings it back to midfield. He's taken down and the Wildcats. Connor Smeezing. Connor Smeezing with the pick, brings it all the way back to the 37 yard line. What a catch over the shoulder, Darren. He, I didn't think he was gonna see the ball. Well, and it wasn't a bad thrown ball. If anything, it was underthrown just a tad, but gives Schmeezing a lot of credit. He ran right alongside of that receiver. So there you go, Darren. There's a kind of a capsule of the season for St. Henry. Four plays they ran. Two were negated for penalties. One was a short gain, and the other is an interception. Yep. So Minster will take their second possession of the night. They'll take over on the 37-yard line, 9.32 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert, high school football here on WOSN. And Mr. the two Love. penalties, Danny, the two penalties right away puts them in that position where they got to throw the football. Right. Here comes Brogan Steffi. He's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. Steffi looks across the field. He's going to throw deep down the left side. He's got a man wide open down there. Caught, the catch was made. That's number three for the Wildcats. That's Devin Wupker as he makes a nice catch. Darren, here is a stat that is amazing. Minster has 33 points off turnovers this year. When they get a turnover, they capitalize. They, they capitalize on it. So, yeah, let's see what they do right here. But that was a very well-thrown ball. Nice catch. Pitch and catch here. Curtis put off with the stop there for the Redskins. So here come the Wildcats. They're on the drive. They're at the 15-yard line. This is Steffi in the gun. He's got a single set back. He's got one to the left, one to the right. He's going to take the snap. He looks. He's under heavy pressure. and He's going to be taken down by the St. Henry defensive line. Wow, number 11 for St. Henry, Nolan Kunkler comes in with a host of Redskins sure take down did. Rogan Steffi. Yeah, Drew Schwederman also the junior stepping up defensively and helping bring down Mr. Steffi along that, with, like yeah. you said, Mr. Kunkler. 842 on our structure scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is covered by Structure Outdoor Ohio by all. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Structure is our scoreboard sponsor. So here come the Wildcats, second 28-31 to go. Steffi's in the gun. He's got three to the left, two to the right. He's got a empty backfield. He takes the snap. It's going to be whistled dead. Either a penalty or they're going to go timeout St. Henry. They're going to take a timeout on the field. We're going to take a timeout on the booth. You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School. We're at 8.21 to go. We're knotted up at zeros. Minster's got the ball here, second 20 from the 25-yard line. St. Henry's trying to hold the Minster offense out of the end zone. Brogan Steff, he's in the gun. He's got a single set back, and he's got three to the left. He rolls to his left, he throws down to the sideline. He's got a man out there, and he's got a reception made by number 15, Chase Kaus. Run out of bounds by Kelly Hoing. We've called that name quite a bit tonight, Kelly Hoyne. That'll put the ball at about the 18-yard line. We'll go second and, or third, excuse me, third and 13. Are Again, you, they've got Minster in a situation now, third and 13. Are you surprised right now, and I know it's early, Darren, that, that Minster's not rolled Steffi out and let him run a little bit more? He leads the team in rushing. He has passed quite a bit. Well, I think you've got to give a lot of credit to the Sure. Defensive presence right now with the pressure that they're putting on him. Here comes Steffi. He rolls to his right. He's going to go across the middle. He's got a man out there. He overshoots him, and that's going to bring up fourth down. And Steffi was hit hard again. Sure and you're right, Darren. Minst or St. Henry's putting incredible pressure on Steffi, and he's taking a lot of shots. That's going to bring up a fourth and 13 situation. Yeah, that one come from his blind side. That was Elijah Horseman. Was about a step away from really getting contact with him when he still had his hands on the football. So it looks like they're going to go for a field goal attempt here from eight, from the 18. So it'll be about a 28-yard attempt. Just looking at that, I think each one of these kids tonight have converted a field goal on the season, if my memory serves me correctly. So a 28-yard attempt for the Wildcats. Snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is no good. It is a low line drive. So St. Henry again holds Minster out of the end zone and keeps him off the scoreboard. So every, every time St. Henry holds him, Darren, the confidence level's got to mm -hmm. go up. And you had said earlier, Darren, about St. Henry needing to establish that run. We look at the stats for Minster. They've given up 11 rushing touchdowns this year. They are susceptible to the run game. Yeah, they're, they're, very, they're, they're much better defensively in the, in the passing sure. aspect of it. So 
you know, St. Henry's got to establish, get some positive yards, whether it be, you know, on the run or like the little short inside bubble screens. So here comes put off in the skins. He's got two, one to his right, one to his left, two to the left, one to the right receiver. He's got a man in motion, put off throws to the right. He's got his back out of the backfield and he's going to be taken down, maybe a gain of two yards. That's Logan Dehan on the reception. First wildcat there, number six, Caleb Basically Sharp. a Caleb long Sharp handoff the tackle. There. Looks like Schwederman, I believe, 14 was in on the stop. The Minster Wildcats on the year have given up 818 yards rushing and 986 yards passing. Leading tackler for the team is Devin Wolker with 23 solo tackles. Here comes Putoff. He's got a single set back. He's got a man in motion. He's going to hand the ball off to the man in motion. He goes off the left side, and a nice defensive play sure by was. number 26, Will Kanapke. Boy, Will Kanapke stayed home on that play, Darren, and really took him out of a nice play. Did a really good job running parallel to the line of scrimmage to run that ball handler down. So here we go, third and seven from the 23, still not at a zero. 6.33 to go on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Put off is in the gun. He's got a single setback. He's got two receivers to his right, two to his left. He's got a man in motion. He'll take the snap. He'll look across the middle, throws to his right side. He's got a man out there, a nice Nicely completion. Done. And another first down for the St. Henry Redskins. Nolan Kunkler, the 6'1 senior, hauls it in in a nice thrown ball by Putoff. Threaded the needle, didn't he? He sure did. He looked really comfortable in that play. And he's getting time back there in the pocket there. And that offensive line for St. Henry giving is him time. really giving him time. Schwederman on the stop for the orange and black. So right now we're seeing St. Henry both offensively and defensively play with a lot of confidence. And the more yards they gain and the more success they have, the confidence level continues to go up. Put-offs in the gun. He's got a single set back and a man in motion. He's going to hand off to the back. He goes up the middle. It's a gain of about four yards. That's number 32 for the Skins. That's Logan Dehan. And Dehan has been the main ball carrier tonight. 5'10", 175-pound junior. He continues to churn out yards for the Skins. Will Kanapke on the stop. Second six, 5'27 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from... Memorial Field here at Minster High School on a nice, cool Friday night. Put off in the gun, he gets the ball, hands off to Dehan, gets up the middle for a gain of about four or five, and that offensive line continues to churn yards out for the Skins. Well, regardless of what they did earlier this year, Darren, and the losses, and they've lost four in a row, they look really confident right now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the, that first series getting their stop, and especially the right. second stop, they're moving the football right now. They're putting themselves in a respectable third and three right here, actually third and two. And we always talk about that on the broadcast, keeping those third downs manageable, and that's exactly what they're done right now. So third and two right now from the 46. Put off his under center right now. He's in a I formation. He's going to hand up, and what a stop Somebody by the Wildcats. the line of scrimmage. Well, Somebody on the bottom of the pile. Yeah, and that right there was the Minster defensive line winning that battle. And that's the first one they've won, but a fantastic job by the Wildcats. Let's see what St. Henry's going to do here. That's going to bring up, yeah, Will Kanapke. Fourth and two, and let's see what they're going to do here. I think they're going to punt. Yeah, Mr. Kanapke's been in on quite a few st stops from that. So back deep for the Minster Wildcats, number 15, Chase Kaus. This is number 11 for the Redskins, Nolan Kunkler. He's going to punt the ball away. Gets a good snap. Kick is up. Good high spiral. Oh, he almost dropped it. He bobbled a little bit. And he's taken down immediately. So good coverage by the Redskins. So right now, both defenses continue, continue to dominate this football game. Minster had a nice drive last possession, but they were held off by the St. Henry defense. Let's see what this flag is. It's over about the 36-yard line on the far side. So it's going to be a holding call against the Redskins. That'll back them up 10. So a nice return is negated. So this, this is going to be, I'm sorry, it was a hold on the Minster Wildcats. And, uh, the this will be Minster's worst starting field position, Darren, as they're going to start on the eight-yard line. So let's see what they can do, if they can muster up some offensive yardage here. Yeah, and that's a win for St. Henry on field position. Absolutely it is. So first and 10 
from the eight yard line, 3.50 to go. Neither team has scored yet. That's Holbert an area Dunn. that, you know, Coach Whiting had a concern with was, you know, special team play, doing things fundamentally sound, and that right there, that that hold moved him back an additional 10 yards. So there's a nice handoff up the middle. He gets a gain of about three yards. Yeah, we talked about, we talked to the Minster coaches earlier this week, and they told us that the keys to their success tonight is protect the football, sound defensive tackling, and, and you're right, execute all three phases, and uh, that's not what he wants to see on the special teams with that holding call. Harrison Wendell on the stop along with Chase Littmer for the red and white. First day of fall here, Darren, and it feels like fall. It's nice, crisp mm -hmm. night. Yes, lots, it is. Lots of people in their hoodies and jackets and sweatshirts. So here's Brogan Steffi in the gun. He's got a single set back. He's going to hand off to that back, and he is taken down immediately. Oh, and it looks like a fumble. Ground. Ball was on the ground, and St. Henry says they have it. Let's see, and they do. St. Henry gets the turnover. A huge turnover by the Skins as they are going to get that ball at about the 15-yard line. Mr. Dehan, number 32, Logan with the fumble recovery. Logan Dehan has been everywhere tonight. Big hit by Elijah Horseman, knocking that ball down on the ground. So St. Henry, Minster's first turnover of the night, and they are going to have dandy field position at the 15 yard line. So first and 10 from the 15, 3.03 to go. Put offs in the gun. He's got a back to his right, a back to his left. He's got two receivers to the left and a single receiver to the right. Put off takes the snap, bobbles it a little bit. He's going to run it himself. He goes off the right tackle and he picks up about four yards. A nice play by Curtis Put off. I'm going to laugh at you a little bit because that was a left tackle pulling. <laughs> the big fella came from the left tackle and pulled across. And I'm telling you, he, he opened up the hole for him. Well, that's for sure. I've got a bar here right in front of me. I didn't see the left <laughs> oh tackle move. Our, my vantage point was off. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he found, he found went right off his backside. And you and I can run behind that. Got it, oh, my goodness. Got himself four yards. And after you said he bobbled a ball, but he turned the corner. He got as much as he could. He sure did. So here comes Curtis put off in the skins. Second and five from the 10 yard line. Picked up first on the, picked up five, excuse me, on the first down. He's got a man in motion. Here comes put off. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to pick up some good yardage. He's going to scamper into the end zone. And he's got an Allen Davis insurance touchdown. The right tackle right there. Mr. Uh, trying to find out who it is. I don't have a number on that, but I'm telling you, number 72, the right tackle. Did a great job turning his man to the outside. And Drew Schwederman, oh, the 6'2", 215-pound junior. He pancaked that kid and put him on the ground and opened up the hole for that evasive run to the end zone for St. Henry. Touchdowns are presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solution provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Allen Davis Insurance is our touchdown sponsor. So here comes the point after attempt. Snap is back, hold is good, and the kick is up, and it is no good. So with 2.12 remaining in the first quarter, the St. Henry Redskins come in to Memorial Field and they strike first. They lead six to nothing right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, where this crowd is stunned, Gilly, as the St. Henry Redskins have taken a 6-0 lead, and they did it off of a turnover. Yeah, the turnover was the biggie right there. That's That was another key. He, he wanted to protect the football, and unfortunately right there they put it on the ground. St. Henry recovered it, punched it in. So the St. Henry Redskins lead on our Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is covered by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our community. Minster Bank is our premier sponsor. There's the kick to Minster. It's going to be taken brought up to about the 30-yard line. That's where he'll be taken down by a host of Redskins. Connor Schmizling with the return. And we taken down by numerous St. Henry yeah, Redskins. Yeah, started with Bro Brody Swartz. Back by number 18, Kellen Hoying. Cleaned so, up by Kellen Hoying. Let's see if Minster can move the ball a little better. Let's see if they can secure it. Seth Whiting first talked about off, protecting yeah. that ball. And right there was the first class case of when a team comes in that's the underdog and they take advantage of your turnovers. Boy, it could be a long night. So here come the Minster Wildcats. Brogan Steffi will bring them back out. He's got a single set back. He's got one to the right, one to the left. 
St. Henry keeps moving those linebackers up, protecting against that run. Steffi throws off to his right shoulder. He's got a man out there. That's number three, and that is Brody Schwartz. I'm sorry, excuse me, that is Devin Woodker. Kellen pick Hoying up, on the stop. Pickup of eight yards. That'll bring up second and two. I love those safe passes like that, Darren, where they get those guys out in space and eight yards, but uh, could have went for more if he gets blocking out front. Well, and Good I, high percentage pass. And I agree with you, and I think the other thing the St. Henry's doing, they're giving a little bit of cushion. Yes, they, they are. They know what yeah. kind of arm Stefan has, and they, Steffi has, and they do not want those receivers getting by those DBs, so they're backing up a couple extra yards, and Steffi's recognizing that. So here comes Steffi. He's in the gun. He's going to keep it himself, go off the left side, or excuse me, the right side, and it looks like flag comes in. I'm going to say a in. face mask or a hold. One I, think you are, I think you are absolutely correct. I would go with a hold just because of where the flag was thrown. Jeremy Meekamp on the stop for St. Henry. He may have got a piece yep. of the face mask. He's, they're going to call a hold on Minster, and that's well, going to push did? it. Yeah. Okay. They're going to push it back oh, 10 yards. So again, Minster continues to make mistakes against that defensive front from St. Henry, and that defensive front is causing Minster all kinds of problems. I really thought they were going to get him for an inadvertent face mask. Yeah, right I, I there. thought you were right. Yeah. So 1-12 to go until the end of the first quarter. St. Henry leads 6 to nothing. That'll back it up, make it second and 12 from the 28. Rogan Steffi on the year has five touchdown passes. He leads this team in rushing with 578 yards and nine touchdowns on the ground, so he really gets after it. Here comes Steffi. He's in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left. Comes he's the under blitz. heavy pressure. He throws off to the right. Oh, they got the screen got a, set up. Yeah, he does. He's right down the right side, and there's another penalty flag. flag. Yep. As the receiver was taken out of bounds at about the 45, but I'm thinking you're going to get a block or a hold on the Minster Wildcats. It's right in that vicinity. Flag back at the 28 yard line. Let's see what they call here. Another huge gain negated by a Minster penalty. So right now they are not playing clean football, and that is the case. It is a hold on Minster. Perfectly set up. Yeah, you're right. It you was. know, St. Henry, you know, pinned their ears back and came after him with a blitz. Steffi. He recognized yeah, he, it. Yeah. Well, he stayed in the pocket and made it through a nice ball, and it was set up. Unfortunately, the holds negate, negate that big gain. So 42 seconds to go here in the first quarter. St. Henry leads 6 to nothing on the structure outdoor scoreboard. That'll push the ball back to about the 18-yard line. Make it second and 22 with 42 seconds to go here. Here comes Steffi. He's in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left. He's got two to his right. He'll take the snap. He looks off, looks across the middle, goes deep down the right side. He's got a man out there and a real nice catch by number 15 for the Wildcats, Chase Kaus, the 5'9 senior. What a, what a great catch with his hands. Not what a great yeah. pass and great catch, yeah. Got both feet down. Darren, we were talking earlier before the game, you and I were watching Brogan Steffi warm up, and he's got a cannon mm -hmm. for an arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it's a tight spiral. There's no wiggles to it. I mean, it's – he throws a, a rope when he lets one go. Yeah, and he's not a real big kid. I mean, he's 6'1", 165, but I think 6'1 is kind of generous. He's you know, he's not a real big kid, but he is a heck of an athlete. Well, and he's a tough kid, too. He's we real tough. That. We witnessed that in the wintertime last year. There comes the blitz again. He got rid of it. But that pressure yeah. is not allowing him to get that extra step to set and throw. He's got to get rid of it. You're absolutely right. Tried to go to Devin Wibker, and he tried to go too quick because, as you said, that Horses pressure was bearing down on him right in his face. So that brings up fourth and five, and the Wildcats are going to have to punt again. Back deep for St. Henry is number 18, Kellen Hoying, and number nine, Hayden Beckman. Hoying and Beckman, boy, those are familiar names in the St. Henry community. <laughs> oh, go through that roster and that line. I know. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> names we've Nathan, seen for years, yeah. Lee Camp. Oh, yeah, Hemelgarn, oh, yeah. There's a nice, high, tight kick. It's going to be fair caught by number nine from the Redskins, Hayden Beckman, as he takes the fair catch. And St. Henry will take over at about the 30-yard line with 12 seconds to go. They lead six to nothing. 
Boy, Darren, a big, big crowd on the Minster side and, and, and a decent crowd on the St. Henry side, but uh, boy, if this plays out like St. Henry thinks it will, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people disappointed they didn't show up. Well, there's a lot of time left, and the nice sure. thing is you have that halftime that the coaching staff can make adjustments. Absolutely. So 12 seconds to go here in the first quarter. St. Henry's going to take over at the 28-yard line, first and 10. Curtis put off will bring the skins out. He's got three receivers to his right. He's got a single setback and a receiver to his left. Put off takes the ball, throws off to the right side. He's got a man out oh, there. Nice step up there by the DB. Swing pass out to Logan Dehan, and that's going to bring the first quarter to an end. So after one quarter from Memorial Field here at Minster High School, the St. Henry Redskins lead the Minster Wildcats six to nothing. You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. Welcome back for the start of the second quarter from Memorial Field here at Minster High School where the St. Henry Redskins have a 6 nothing lead over the Minster Wildcats. This is second nine from the 29-yard line. Curtis put off in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left. He's going to look back to the right side across the middle. And he's got a man out there, and it was almost picked off, and that was number three for the Skins, Brody Schwartz. And the ball hit him in the chest, Darren, and went straight up in the air and almost picked off. Yeah, Niemeyer, I think, got his left hand in on that left arm and tugged at it a little bit, and the ball popped out. He did a great job of defending that. He got, he got face cut right there across the middle, but he did a nice job of getting his hands in there to deflect the pass. Yeah, that's one of those where you want to catch it, secure it, and bring it into your chest as quickly as possible. Here come the skins, 11.56 to go. Third and nine from the 29-yard line. This is put off in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left. He's got a single setback and one to the right. He'll take the snap. He looks off to his left side. Pump fakes it, goes back to the right. Screen pass. Oh, somebody it's stayed at home, didn't they? Sniffed out. What a great job by number 33 for the Wildcats, Will Fremel. And you're right, Darren. He stayed right there and played that as perfect as you could. Well, there's a big kid for a sophomore, 5'10", 215 pounds. Nice job right there. Absolutely, and he did a great job of making the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. That'll put St. Henry back in pump formation. Number 11, Nolan Kunkler for the skins, and he'll be punting to number 15 for the Wildcats. This is Chase Kaus. Yeah, that's a big stop there by Minster. Kunkler gets the punt off. It is low, and Kaus is going to be able to grab it, and he's going to take off the left side looking for a block. He's taken down at about the 42-yard line. And that's where the skins will take over. I thought, I thought Kaus, when he got a little speed up, was going to be able to break a few tackles. Berkey and Swartz on the stop for St. Henry. So here come the Minster Wildcats. They're down six to nothing on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Reminder, the puff passing kicks tomorrow at 1 o'clock. 11.06 to go. They'll take over on the 41-yard line. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert. High school football here on WSN. Beautiful, nice fall, crisp night. No, hardly any wind. No, you're right. Week six of the high school football season. So here's Brogan Steffi. He's got a single setback. He's going to hand the ball off. Off the left side, gets some tough yardage for a gain of about three yards. And that, again, is Justin Bergman, number 27. Horseman on the stop for the Redskins. That'll bring up second and... About six, 43-yard line. Minster trying to establish that run against that vaunted St. Henry defensive front, which has played a really good game well, up to the, this the, point. The blitz has played a huge part Oh, in they've it. put him under pressure all mm -hmm. night. So here comes Steffi. He gets the snap. He bobbles the ball. He's going to have to pick it up and go again, and he's going to get nothing. He's going to get nothing but hit hard. And again, that defensive front, is doing a great job. Steffi picked the ball up, tried to make something out of nothing, and he just gets taken down and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Wendell and Layfeld, Tate Layfeld on the stop. And Dustin Quintner right now, the 6'5", 330-pound senior. Darren, they don't have an answer for him right now. He is just dominating in the trenches. Yeah, if he stays level and low to his level with his size and strength, he's going to make everybody work to to, uh, to block him if he's playing defense and 
as well as try to get around him when he's at the offensive tackle position. So here's Steffi in the gun. He's got three receivers to the right, and St. Henry's going to take another timeout. With 9.43 to go, we'll take a timeout here in the booth. St. Henry Redskins lead the Minister Wildcats 6 to nothing. High School Football here on WOSN. Welcome back here to Minster High School. 9.43 to go. The St. Henry Redskins lead the Minster Wildcats six to nothing on the structure outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Brogan Steffi and the Wildcats trying to make something happen. He's got three receivers to his right. He's going to take the snap. He's going to throw off the right side and it is knocked oh, down at the line there, of scrimmage. It? it is knocked down at the line of Mr. scrimmage. Wendell. And Darren, you've said it all night. It's because of the pressure they're putting under, they're putting Brogan Steffi under. He's not being able to make much happen. Well, what Wendell did really well was beside applying the pressure, he went in with his hands up and took the vision away from you're right. Steffi Absolutely. got his hands on the ball and batted it down. So Minster will punt again back deep for St. Henry. Number nine, Hayden Beckman, and number 18, Kellen Hoying. He gets the punt away, and it is a high punt. Nice it is punt. fielded by Hoying as he goes down to his oh, knee. Oh, boy. Uh, and I don't, going to get a flag there? Uh, we're going to see. He did not call a fair catch. And the officials, there's no flag on okay. the play. Yeah. Okay. Looked like he had his knee on that, the ground. That, I was just going to say, it did look like he had his knee on the ground, but I think the official realized that the, 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 the young man making the tackle was, was in his stride before the knee hit the ground. Yeah. So 9.31 to go here. Darren, this is, this is football Friday night with the weather like this. It's, you know, we're high 50s and no wind blowing and people are enjoying this kind of weather and it's just nice to see. Can be like this? I, <laughs> yes, let's just hope so. I'm not looking for the white stuff. <laughs> Here comes Curtis put off in the his skins. He's got three receivers to his right. He goes off to the left side. He's oh got blockers goodness, out in front of him. Put off goes to the else. side. Here comes Curtis put off. He's going up the 50 to the 45 to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. My goodness, Darren, did you see that pancake block up front? <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, there was no more action until about 30 yards down the field because I was watching along with the runner going down the sidelines on St. Henry's side and finally chased out of bounds by Smazing, or he's got him a touchdown. Dustin Quintner absolutely leveled the defender who came at him. And what a run by young Mr. Putoff. Here come the skins. They're first and 10 at the 40-yard line. They are moving that ball up the, up the yardage at the 40-yard line. Putoff's got three to his right. He's going to hand the ball off, off the left side. They're going to get a gain of about two yards. That's number 32 for the Skins, Logan Dehan. Kanapke on the stop. So Minster having all kinds of trouble with that offensive line. And right now, Darren, the game is being won in the trenches, and St. Henry's dominating on both sides I of the agree. ball. I agree. Their defensive pressure and then their offensive line doing a really good job opening up holes Clock continues for St. Henry to yeah. utilize some yardage on the ground. 8.42 to go. Put off is in the gun. He's got two running backs on his right and left. He's got two receivers to his right. He's going to roll to the right side, looks down the field. He throws off his back shoulder off to the left side, off his back leg, I'm sorry, and he overshoots his receiver. And he was hit hard by the Minster defense. Yeah, I think that pressure come from Mr. Smeezing coming into the night. He's got three quarterback sacks on the season. He, like you said, he did get his shoulder pad into. He did quarterback right there and I look I'm not a coach and I'm not questioning any calls here but I, I if I'm St. Henry I stick to the run behind this offensive line and I like what they're trying to do they're trying to mix it up I understand that but my goodness their success right now is down in the front line there so here comes put off in the gun he's got the back to his left and he's got three receivers to his right he's going to go down the middle of the field he's got his man out there and he overshoots him just behind the receiver number three and that's Brody Schwartz That pass was attended for Brody Schwartz, and that's going to bring up fourth and nine. Now the ball's at the 39-yard line, Darren. I, I got to believe you're you're in no man's land here. I, I don't think you punt the ball here, do you? I don't think he's looking to punt the football. I think you're right. I think he's going to continue to run the offense. Yeah, the game's getting physical. 
real physical. So here come the skins, fourth and nine from the 39-yard line. He's going to roll off to the right side. He's looking. He's under pressure. Rolls. He's throwing downfield. He's got a man out there. Oh, oh my nice goodness. That's a play by Mr. Webker right there. What a defensive play by Devin Webker as he gets a hand in the ball and knocks it down. Yeah, that ball's thrown about a yard and a half to two yards further. It's right in the bread basket for St. Henry defender. We give a lot of credit to Webker keeping his eye on the football all the way and deflecting it. So a great defensive play to save a touchdown. He was wide open there. He was wide open. Yeah, did a real good job closing on the football right there. So here come the Minster Wildcats as they try to get something started here from the 39-yard line. 8.14 to go. They're down 6 to nothing on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Brogan Steffi is under center. They're in the power eye formation. He's going to hand off to the up back, and he's going to be taken down for gain of nothing. A gain of nothing. And there is that big man again, number 77, Dustin Quinter. Kunk Kunkler on the stop. Schwederman on the stop. And you wonder, you wonder, Darren, where this aggressive defensive and offensive line play has been all year for St. Henry. They are just, they look like a different team from what they've been all year. Now, they started the year out with a 49 0 win over Covington, but since then they've lost four in a row, but they are trying to get it restarted here tonight. Well, like we said in the pregame, you got to be prepared every night in the back. Oh, absolutely. Here comes Steffi as he's going to roll off his left. He's got a receiver out there, and he throws it out, and they get a gain of about nine yards, and that's going to be real close to a first down. Let's see where they place the ball. Got it in the hands of their speedster, Schmeezing. Schmeezing was out there, and he made a nice reception, and it's going to be about a yard short, looks like. Got a really good block by Niemeyer right there to allow Schmeezing so third, third and one from the 48-yard line. So here we're going to see what Brogan Steffi and the Wildcats decide to do if they try to get him out and roll him on the outside and try to pick up this first down. Steffi's in the gun. He's going to take the snap. He's going to take it himself, go off the right side, and he's going to get the first down easy. Picks up about four yards. And that's what I'd like to see more from Brogan Steffi and the Wildcats. Yep, he picked that right tackle and that right guard over that B gap. He sure did. So Brogan Steffi, the winner on the stop. The leading rusher for the Wildcats as he has 578 yards rushing this year with nine touchdowns. He is a weapon when they get him out in space. So as silly as it sounds, that's a big first down. For you, oh, you're right. They're no, the, they're moving the football. 100% agree with you, Gilly. They didn't get that. They didn't get that opportunity in their first. 12 minutes of the game. So here's Brogan Steffi in the gun. He's got a single set back. He's got a receiver to his right and a receiver to his left. And he's got one in the slot. Steffi looks and he throws off to the left side. He's got his man out there. He throws an absolute dart across the field to number 16, James Niemeyer. James Niemeyer has 335 yards on the season with two touchdowns, averages 12.4 yards a catch. Beckman on the stop for St. Henry. So Minster putting something together here with 6.28 to go until the halftime. They're down six to nothing. Yeah, he didn't mess around. He threaded the needle right there. Nice pitch and catch. Sure did. You saw the arm strength there. He just put that ball right where it needed to be. So here come the Wildcats from the 40-yard line, second and two. And I think St. Henry realizes that. They cannot let him get his feet established back here to throw the football. So Steffi looks across. He throws deep down the middle. He's got a man out there. The reception's made by number 10 for the Wildcats. Sneezing. Connor Sneezing out there with a nice reception. And you saw the arm strength from Brogan Steffi there. Kellen Hoying on the stop with Logan DeHaan. Yeah, you give him time in the pocket to get his feet set. He's going to find a receiver. He found one there. So here come the Wildcats. First and 10 from the 17-yard line. Steffi's in the gun. He's got a man in the slot. He's got a single receiver to his left and three to his right. He goes to the left side. He's got a man out there, and he's just going to overshoot it. And that, nobody was catching that ball as it goes out of the end zone off to the side. Well, you know, and even though it wasn't caught, he threw that thing in a position where it was not going to be intercepted. Yep. And if it was going to be caught, he's going to catch it outside of the 
It's a great pylon. Great point there, and he put it where only he could catch it. So that brings up second and 10 with 534 to go on the structure outdoor scoreboard. You know, I'm just looking for consistency out of Minster's offensive line. They seem to have a little bit of a They got a rhythm right now, yeah. Let's see if we they can't maintain that confidence level and pass protection. Steffi's he's got three receivers to his right. He's got a single back. He looks off the left. He's under heavy pressure. He rolls, throws across the middle. And Darren, that was a coverage sack. There was nobody open, and that defensive line was putting all kinds of pressure on Brogan Steffi. Well, it's, it's coming from the outside linebackers and the DBs, and that's where it's going to be, you know, this last 529 to get through the first half and then talk about it at halftime as coaching staff and also with the players and make those adjustments coming out in the third quarter because it's really taking its toll on their offensive scheme when, when they get pressure on him. You are absolutely right. They've got him on the run all night, and consequently, the passes he's thrown, some of them have been high, some of them have been over the receiver, and he's really struggled with his accuracy tonight. So here comes Steffi in the gun. He's got a single setback. He's got a man in motion. He's got Niemeyer goes off to the right side, and they're, they're going to take a timeout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a timeout here. I don't blame him on that, Darren. With 5.29 to go, they've got the ball down in close to the red zone. So they'll take a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Our premier sponsor is the Minster Bank. So, Darren, we've got the ball here on the 17-yard line, third and 10. They, I, I think you are correct. They found some success with that offensive line, and uh, Steffi doesn't seem to be running for his life on this series. No. It, you know, the, the problem that's presenting itself is the pressure they're bringing from the outside, and those are things you can adjust at halftime when you talk to the kids. You want to get through this 529. This is a possession, like you said, good timeout. Third down and 10 is two down territory. they got to come away with some points here. Here's Steffi in the gun. He's got three receivers to his right. He's got one single setback. He takes the snap, looks across the field. He's under pressure, throws to the end zone. He's got his man out there, and it's going to be short. I'm sorry. I said he threw to the end zone. It looked like he did. He threw to the about the two-yard line, and a great tackle made out there by the St. Henry Redskins to keep him out of the yeah, end zone. Yeah, Beckman made, made a you know, touchdown-saving tackle right there. Nice pitch and catch. Really nice route, Mr. Kaus running there, real, real nice. Yeah, face cut. Down the, and in, oh yeah. yeah. Face cut the defender right across the end zone. I thought he was going to make it into the end zone, but a great saving tackle out there by the Skins to bring him down at the two-yard line. So here comes Minster. They're in the power eye. They've got three backs behind Steffi. You've got a man swinging out to the right. Steffi's going to hand off to the up back, who goes into the end zone, it looks like, and they're going to call it a touchdown, Minster. An Allen Davis Insurance. Touchdowns represented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solution provider specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. Darren, I don't want to say that was crucial, but that was crucial. That's, you know, that's one that, you know, so to speak, gets you off your heels. And, yes. you know, this is a big point right here. They can get this, this point to go here, go in, you know, at halftime, presumably up seven to six. We still got 450 to go, but if you're a home team, you, you got to be pleased with getting that touchdown let's see if we can't get the extra point kick is up and it is My good goodness, that, that, was, <laughs> that could have been was, good from 40 yeah that was that was long <laughs> so with 450 to go until halftime the minster wildcats have taken a seven to six lead right here on WOSN. So the Minster Wildcats march down the field and get a much needed touchdown to take a seven to six lead with 450 remaining until halftime. Rogan Steffi led the troops down there and they take it in from about two yards out. And they finally, finally get off the zero mark. So the kick is down, picked up by number 22 for the skins, Ryan Worley. And that ball is taken down. Nice tackle by John Keller right there. And Darren, we've both noticed, and, and the crowds have noticed too, there's no love lost between these two schools. Oh, we've seen a lot of skirmishes out of here. A lot of skirmishes, <laughs> but you know what? It's physical football, and right. the officials are right down on top of it. Give them credit right now. Absolutely. They're, they're keeping the game under control. So St. Henry will take the ball at the 22-yard line. That's where Curtis put off will bring the skins out. 
You know, we joke down the parking lot. You <laughs> heard somebody say, hey, how was your drive over here? <laughs> you know, and what is it, 15 minutes apart, yeah, 20 minutes say, apart? Yeah. I'm used to those 45 minutes to an hour trips. <laughs> You're right. We did talk about that in the parking lot. Curtis put off keeps the ball. I'm sure there's probably plenty of relation between well, they've been playing, you know, yeah, they've school been, districts and, oh, yeah. Been playing this ball game a long, long time. Gain of two, of being up second and eight from the 22-yard line. Clock continues to run, 4.15. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Memorial Field here at Minster High School. Midwest Athletic Conference football action on a beautiful fall Friday night. Here comes Putoff. He's going to roll off to the left side. He throws off to the left side. He's got a man out there, and they're going to pick up another first down. So a nice pitch and catch, and that's number nine for the Skins, Hayden Beckman, as he hauls it in and picks up another first down. Webker on the stop along with Rindler. You're going to hear Webker all night when the ball's on that side of the field because he is a defensive stopper. I'll tell you, that's a nice turn ball. Really nice. On the run. Yeah, tight spiral. 3.59 to go, first and 10 from the 35-yard line. Putoff's got the skins moving again. He's got three receivers to his right. He's got a single setback and a receiver off to his left. He takes the snap. He's going to take it himself off the left side, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He gets a bop to the middle and gets a gain of about nine yards and a beautiful run, a beautiful run. And there is, here comes the flags, Darren. We saw that. There was some skirmish yeah. in there. That's yep. going to, yeah, that's going to back him up 15 because that's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct. And credit the officials. They were right there, spotted it. As you can tell, three flags on the field. Yeah. And I don't know what happened. I did not see everything. I saw the young man from St. Henry push the young man from Minster. I don't know what happened before that, but uh, I know we've seen some chippy shots, you know, all evening tonight. It's been aggressive. Guys. Yeah, it sure has. It's been aggressive. Yeah. So that'll back them up to the 30-yard line. Ball back to the 30. So that negates a nice 10-yard gain by Curtis Putoff and the St. Henry Redskins. Well, what you don't want is you don't want it to turn into a wrestling match because right. if it turns into a wrestling match, that means there's an awful lot of hands being used. Right. Ball at the 30, first and 10. So first and 10 from the 30-yard line. 3.46 to go here until halftime. Minster leads 7-6. to six. Put off is in the gun. He's got a single setback, and he's got two receivers on each side of him. He's got a man in motion. He's going to hand off to the motion man. He comes off of the right side. And he's going to pick up about three yards. But that was number 20, 26 on the carry. Harrison Wendell, excuse me, number 28, the 5'10 senior. Running back, comes in motion and gets the handoff. Sharp stepping up for the Wildcats, making the stop there. That'll bring up second and five with 3'10 to go as the clock continues to run. They'll bring the ball up to the 35-yard line. Putoff's in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left, a single setback, and a receiver to his right. He's going to take the ball, throw off to the left side. He's got Wendell out there, and he makes the catch, but he's not going to have much of a gain, maybe two yards. That's going to bring up fourth and about. Schwederman and Schmeezing on the stop for Minster. Excuse me, that's going to bring up third down. About third and three. Third and four is what they're okay. calling it on the field. Third and four from the 30-yard line. Excuse me, from the, they've got 30 marked out there, but it's not the 30, it's the 36-yard line. Now they change it. Here comes put off. He's going to go off the left side. He's got blockers out in front of him. He gets to the sideline. He is going down the field. There goes Curtis put off. He's at the 20. He's at the 10, the 5. Touchdown, St. Henry. Curtis put off, takes it in from about 60 yards. And Darren, he got to the sidelines, and he was gone. Going over the left side, they're finding something the coaching staff did either tonight or in the game film breakdowns. Well, they're going to bring that one back, Darren, because they're saying that St. Henry held on the play. Okay. And that was, I'm going to say this in the kindest way, that was a late flag. I did not well, see that. Well, and, and here's what's going to happen. If, you're, if the game starts getting chippy, yes. the officials are going to do one of two things. They're either going to tighten the game up or sure. they're going to let it continue to play. And you know as well as I do, we both 
seen it. Sure. They're going to tighten the game up, and they're going to be looking for it. Okay. Back to the 32. So that'll bring second, or I'm sorry, from the 32 now. So we've seen both squads make huge penalties tonight on big gains to be brought back to the line of scrimmage. So that's going to bring it third and eight from the 32-yard line. Putoff is in the gun. He's got two backs, one to his right, one to his left. He's got a single receiver to his left and two to his right. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to throw back to his left, and he throws it just short, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, that's one of those they tried to set up a little bubble screen there, and Mr. Putoff just didn't get his feet set to throw the football over there. So St. Henry's going to go back in the punt formation. And, Darren, what I saw in that play was I saw two St. Henry offensive players slip, and I don't know if the grass is getting a little slippery or not, but the temperature is continuing no, to fall. Yeah, the grass so, is going to get dewy. Yeah. It is, a first, it is the first Friday night this year where the temperatures have dipped down to where it is chilly. So we're going to see that grass get a little slippery tonight. And it is natural grass on this surface here at Memorial Field. So there's the pump by the skins. It's going to be taken. It's going to roll at the 40. And it's going to bounce to about the 36-yard line. And that's where Minstrel will take possession with 1.55 to go. Tonight's scoreboard is covered by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, and commitment to others and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WSN TV slash John Reed. Well, are you satisfied at 7-6 to six if you're a minster, or do you turn him? Mr. Steffi loose with his arm and legs. That is exactly what I do, Darren. That kid is an athlete. I get him out on the boundary and I let him create. And uh, I think you, you do that, you got yourself a chance to move that ball down. Nothing's working through the interior. Well, we know gonna, that. They're going to turn his arm yeah. loose because they're going. They're going empty backfield. To the yeah. To, to the near side. So here's Steffi in the gun. He gets the ball, looks off to his left, and he overthrows the receiver. And that was intended for number 18 for the Wildcats. For. I wonder if this is a lineman downfield. Tyler Hess was the intended receiver. Sure is. Oh, they got, yep, lineman downfield. Yep, illegal receiver. They had a lineman downfield. He was leading out there, and he was setting up for the screen pass, and he got too far down. Coach Seth Whiting not happy with that call. 150 to go here until halftime. But you know what, you, he set his piece, walked away, now he's, he's getting his mind focused back on what he wants to do offensively. You're not gonna change that call, just play no, no, no. through it. Gonna stay with their five wide set. Second and 10 from the 36. Minster goes five wide, three to the right, two to the left. St. Henry's satisfied bringing three. Now they're bringing a late fourth. Nice pitch and, and catch nice there. Nice pitch and catch from Brogan Steffi to number 16, James Niemeyer. That's his favorite target. He yeah, I was going to say, end. I think he's leading the league, isn't he? Yes, he leads this team in receiving with 335 yards. He averages 12.4 a yard, or a, game, a catch, excuse me. So that'll make it 147 as Niemeyer gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Second and six from the 41 yard line. Here comes Brogan Steffi. Again, they're going empty backfield. They've got three to the right, two to the left. Steffi takes the snap, looks across the middle, throws to the middle of the field. He's got his man out there. He's got Niemeyer again. And Niemeyer's just sitting down in that zone, in that soft St. Henry zone, and he's finding the seams, and he's putting the ball on target. Wendell on the stop. And here they go for no huddle as they're moving the ball up the field. And you were correct, Aaron. They're, they're going to unleash this offense and let him create. So he's got three to the right, two to the left. Steffi takes the snap. He's under heavy pressure. He steps up in the pocket. He's got a man down the left side, and he's, oh, that's going to come back. That's going to come back. back. Yeah, because he went out of bounds. He was running <laughs> yeah. near the dotted stripes yep. in the cameraman. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did not know where he was at. He's asking the officials that I got pushed out, but I don't think that was the case. Nope, Chase Cow stepped out of bounds. And that was a nice play, but there's a reason he was wide open. Yes. He, went, he went clear out of bounds, and the St. Henry receiver, By or the St. Henry, yeah, yeah, the St. Henry defensive back just stopped on the play because he knew he couldn't come in and make the play. 
Battery couldn't find him because he was amongst his teammates down there. But all jokes aside, that's a, that's a tough break for Minster. Sure is. And the officials are discussing something here. Let's see what they're going to make a decision on this. And they are waving off the flag. Darren, I am stunned. I am stunned. I, I, I don't know how they can wave that off. The young man ran out of bounds. Unless they say he was pushed out, but I didn't see that. I'm, I'm not sure. Well. I, I, seriously, I'm not sure. Yeah. And Either way, Minster's got the ball at the one yard line with 121 to go. And Brad Luthman from St. Henry is absolutely livid on that sideline. I mean, that's a big break for Oh, Minster, it sure is. And it's a backbreaker for St. Henry. So here come the Minster Wildcats as they are the recipient of a good break as they wave the flag off and they, they uh, all I can figure out is they're saying that he was pushed out of bounds, but even then, he was completely out of bounds, almost over by the track there. So here come the Wildcats from yeah, the one-yard This one could be one. a 14-point swing right here in the last four minutes. Steffi's under center. He's got the power eye back there. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to go right up the middle. And they're going to say touchdown, touchdown Minster. Touchdown. No officials given the call yet, but the PA announcer has said Touchdown, but I still haven't seen a touchdown acknowledged by yeah, the, the officials. The, the, the guy on the right side. Okay. Yeah, okay. He, he acknowledged it. He came in. All right. Yeah. That'll make it 13 to 6 on the structure scoreboard with 114 to go. Here comes the point after try. Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up. And it is good. That'll make it 14 to 6 with 114 to go. We're gonna step aside, take a break when we come back. 114 to go here in halftime. Watching high school football on WOSN. We're back here at Minster High School with 114 to go. The Wildcats put another touchdown on the board as they lead 14 to six over the St. Henry Redskins. So Darren, the offense for Minster comes alive again. They get a good break and they capitalize, push it in from the goal line. Rogan Steffi takes it in from one yard out. That is his 10th touchdown on the season. So when he gets near the goal line, he can sniff the touchdowns out. And another, another flag here. I'm thinking this is going to be an offside call against Minster. And now we saw a really clean first quarter, and we've just seen a laundry list of flags here in the second quarter. And they never did acknowledge to the crowd what the call was unless they weren't ready with the clock. Maybe that's what they're saying because there was no acknowledgement of, of a foul being committed. They just threw the flag. So maybe they were not ready or in position for the kick. So here we go again as Minster will kick off to St. Henry. Nice deep kick, takes him back to the five yard line. He'll bring it up the middle of the field. He breaks free from one tackle, and he's taken down at about the 26-yard line. That's where Curtis put off, and the Redskins will take over with 107 to go here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Memorial Stadium here at Minster High School. Connor Garrett on the stop. Looks like we got some laundry on the field. More flags come down. Let's see what the call here is. That was thrown back in the St. Henry Near the kickoff team for well, St. Henry. That's, yeah, I'm wondering if it's a hold. It's a hold. Yeah, you're right. Holding against St. Henry. That'll back them up further with 107 to go here. So St. Henry in a hole again to try to get back in this game down 14 to 6. 
We take a look at St. Henry this year. They, they they win the opener 49 to nothing. Then they come back. They lose to Archbold 34 to 10. They lose to Anna. A good 20, Archbold. A team. good Archbold yeah, team. Yeah, very good Archbold team. Yeah, they lose to Anna 26 to seven. And then the stunner. I think all of us were surprised about. Parkway beats them 14 to nothing. And then. Obviously, last week they lose to a really good number one team in Coldwater, 41-7. to Yeah, and people were saying at the beginning of the year that this Coldwater was a down year for them. <laughs> well, okay. surprise, surprise. Yeah. Here comes St. Henry Redskins. They try to take the ball off the left side, and they get a gain of about, eh, looks like about maybe two yards. That's Curtis put off on the carry. Clock continues to run. And I don't think St. Henry's going to put the ball in the air, Darren, back this far, and they're going to let that clock continue to run, and it's down to 40 seconds. Two, second, eight. second eight from the 14-yard line. One yard official line. over here signaling a timeout. It looks like Minster's going to take a timeout with 34 seconds to go. And now they're not going to give it to him. Are, are they giving it to him? Did, well, it looked like the near official over here. Okay, yeah, they are going to give it to him. So. Season 18 of Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. I got to be on the Sports Report last week, Darren. I had a I blast. Saw you. Yes. I saw you and Mark got, on yeah. there. You guys did a nice job. Well, I think Jen you. was on there, Yeah, right? Jen was on there, and she was awesome. And uh, I had a fantastic time. Love the folks back at the studio. They treat you like a king, and they do a fantastic job. It is the best sports coverage in the area. Yeah, I, 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 would, yeah. I would like to attend the, the one you do for the preview before the tournaments. Oh, yes. Basketball. Yeah, yeah. That's a great one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the coverage is phenomenal, what uh, WSN does for the communities of West Central Ohio and even Indiana now. So Absolutely. We're everywhere. <laughs> and then you're going north, and you're up into Wauseon and up in that area. And, and that's what you do uh, for yeah. the kids. That's the big thing. It's for the kids and, and the community. And. It is so uh, supportive of high school athletics. So here come the Redskins with 34 seconds to go. They're down 14 to six. They had a 6-0 early lead, but they've given up two big touchdowns here in the second quarter to the Minster Wildcats. Second and eight. So Curtis put off. We'll try to get his team in a position to either score or, well, <laughs> the objective is to score, but I'm just kind of concerned about what they're going to do here with 34 that's, seconds that's to go. That's what I'm wondering. Are they yeah. going to take a knee or well, they're still are they going to try to run something here? But when you try to run something, you put yourself in an opportunity of turning the football over. So I'm not real sure what we're wa waiting on, what the holdup is. The official is looking at the clock. Are they debating adding time on the clock? Uh, could be. They keep looking. Oh, it's the play clock. I see. The play clock is having problems. Okay. It looks like the play clock is not working correctly. The clock is being reset to one minute. Okay. So now they're saying one minute. So not real sure how we go back to one minute. Well, they were trying to acknowledge a timeout. I see what you're Over saying. Here yeah. on this side, the other officials didn't see it. He did. The near official was signaling. A timeout. I don't think anybody on the field okay. happened to see him at, the, at that particular time. So now we've got it set back to 60 seconds, one minute. St. Henry's got it at second and eight, and another stoppage of play. And this is just, just hard to watch right now. The officials are having a hard time with this game. We've got another stoppage in play. And there's no flag on the play. There's no, what, why, why was the play stopped? Does anybody know? So 58 seconds to go. St. Henry with the ball, second and eight from the 14 yard line. And now we're gonna start the clock and now they've moved the clock back to the one minute mark. Here's put off in the gun. He's got three to his right. He's going to go off the left side, following that big lead left tackle. And he's been taken down right about the line of scrimmage. And the clock continues to run. Mr. Smeezing using his athleticism, running Mr. Put off down. So another timeout from Minster to 
at the 52 second mark. Darren, you've seen a lot of good teams in the area this year. We both covered quite a few teams and you look at the usual suspects. You've got Marion Local, you've got Coldwater, uh, Minster having a nice year here. Who else have you seen that's really impressed you this year? Well, you know, just watching the highlights, you know, I, I had the Alum East game against USV yes. first game of the year. USV had them on their heels for the most part of the game, but like you had last week, they yeah. come back and, you know, 0-0 and score a late touchdown to beat Columbus Grove. And, you know, they've got Spencerville tonight, and you would have to think that they're probably the, the favorite in sure. that game. So, uh, you know, they're solid. You know, look at the WBL. The, the team is probably the most talented. Top to bottom would be Van Wert. Yes. But, uh, you know, they went down to Wapak a couple weeks ago. And <laughs> Lose on a crazy play, you, yeah. You know, on a punt situation. And and that's going to be a great three. You, you've got you've got Wapak, you've got Van Wert, you've got De – Defiance is playing great Defiance football is, right now, yeah. Defiance is playing very well. Salina is playing yeah. much better. You know, Elida was, and then their quarterback got yeah. hurt. When so. Larkin Henderson went down, it really, really, you know, had – Re rethink some things. So the ball goes into the middle of that big line there, and they don't get much of a gain there. Uh, that's going to continue the clock at 36 seconds. Minster continues to lead 14 to 6. But, I mean, there's no question the best lead top to bottom right now is probably the Mac. Sure, sure. You know, Coldwater, Marion Local, and, and that, supposed to have been yeah. a you know, rebuilding year in Marion Local, and look what they're doing. And same thing with Coldwater. And, you know, you're watching the athleticism tonight of, of both of these teams, and it's just uh, you better be prepared. So St. Henry's going to bring the punt team out, and the clock is at 7-6-5, and I don't think they're going to have to snap that ball, and they will not. And that will let the clock run out at halftime. From Minster High School, the Minster Wildcats lead the St. Henry Redskins 14 to 6. When we come back, we'll have second half action. And we'll have our halftime adjustments right here on WSN. Welcome back to Minster High School. We're just about getting ready to start the second half. Our halftime adjustments are sponsored by Machine Concepts. Your workday should start at Machine Concepts. Come for your career, stay for your success. MachineConcepts.com is our halftime sponsor. Gilly, we take a look at the halftime adjustments for the St. Henry Redskins. They're out rushing Minster. They've got 90 yards on the ground, and we talked earlier, they're, they're, they're owning the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think Putoff has 85 of those 90 yards, and you know we were listening to the announcer, and he did a real good job you know, giving those stats. I know Stefan is through for what, two, 202 yes. or 212? Yeah. 202. You know, his arm has definitely made the difference because St. Henry, give them a lot of credit. They've held Minster to 10 yards rushing right. in this first half. It just come down to Minster had the turnover that allowed St. Henry to punch it in, and then, you know, the situation that took place in the second quarter. Which you know, will be talked about for a long time. Which is going to be, it's gonna be discussed. <laughs> and, but uh, it's one of those things that you hate to, to hate to see it happen. But, you know, it, it did transpire. And and uh, Minster was able to punch it in, made it 14-6 to six at here at halftime. And St. Henry's still in the game. You know, the coach is making these adjustments at halftime. Obviously, St. Henry's got to put some more pressure on Steffi because when you let him get his feet set, he's he's dangerous with his arm. And, you know, put off on the other side of the uh, football for St. Henry. That's a really he's, nice job. Man. Yes, he has. He's threw the ball exceptionally well. The yardage doesn't show for it, but uh, he's he's got them where they need to be, got them on the board there in the first quarter. And, you know, they're not out of the game by any means. They're down one score and a two-point conversion. So we got a lot of time left. We got 24 minutes football. It's going to be interesting to see what adjustments both coaches have made. So Minster will be kicking off to St. Henry. We take a look at our halftime stats. St. Henry has 90 yards rushing. Minster has 10 yards rushing on the passing side. Minster dominating that with 202 yards. St. Henry has 35 yards passing the ball. They'll bring the ball up the right side. They'll be taken down. Here comes another flag. Total offense is 212 yards for Minster and 125 yards for St. Henry. Both teams with a turnover. So another flag comes in, and we'll see what that is all about. It looks like it's going to be probably holding. And that's what it is, holding against St. Henry. So that will back the ball up farther. Sharp on the stop for 
Minster on that kick. And it was interesting to see, Darren, we, because we noticed in the first quarter, St. Henry dominated the line of scrimmage. And then Minster slowly but surely made those adjustments to get some gaps open and to move their guys around. And a really nice job by the Minster coaching staff. Well, I'm sure one of the things they discussed at halftime is how do we block this blitz? <laughs> yes. You know, because St. Henry was very effective in the first quarter, and uh, I'm sure that was a topic of discussion. Let's see how they, you know, adjust here in the second half. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Minster Bank is our premier sponsor. So here come the St. Henry Redskins. Curtis Putoff is going to hand the ball out a nice hard run sure across to the 25. And that's Wendell with the ball. And he goes up and gets about six yards. Boy, he really came through there hard. Fremel and Boerhorst on the stop for Minster. Yeah, that's a great you know, first possession to, you know, Chunk out six to seven yards. That's that's big for St. Henry. So second and three from the 23-yard line. Positive yardage. Put themselves in an opportunity to move the sticks. Put offs in the gun. He's got two to his one to his right, one to his left. He's got two receivers to the left and one to the right. He's going to hand the ball off again to the second man through, and he's going to get about two yards. He's going to come up about a yard short for a first down. We'll see where they mark it. So they make it third down. Sharp on the stop, two. along with his teammate, Kanapke. Will Kanapke Will has had himself a fine game defensively tonight. So that's going to bring up third and about one, maybe one and a half, depending on how you see it here. So a big play to start the second half from the 25-yard line, 10.42 to go. Minster leads 14-6 to six from Minster High School here. Curtis put off is under center. He's got two backs to his behind his back in the eye. He's going to hand off to the second man through and he's going to be taken down. Yeah, somebody met him at the line of scrimmage. I think it was Barnhorst. And St. Henry saying they got the first down and it looked like he was taken down behind the line of scrimmage but his forward progress, Darren, that's going to be awful close. Yeah, he got it. it. It was on effort because he, he had to lean and get his shoulders and yeah, they're saying fourth down. Yeah, he yeah. leaned towards the sticks because Mr. Bornhorst met him in the backfield. So that's going to bring up fourth down. St. Henry's going to kick, and that'll put the. You know, I was sitting here talking about St. Henry being young. I'm looking at Minster's roster. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Seven seniors. Yeah, so they are young, too. Goodness gracious, both ball clubs. So that means Minster fourth down is going to punt, and they're going to punt to the ever-dangerous number 15, Chase Kaus, the 5'9 senior, back to accept this punt. And if this young man gets a gets a seam and he gets some open field, he is gone. Yeah, he's very quick. Snap is back, kick is away, and it's a low liner. And Kaus is going to be able to return this one. He goes to his left. He's looking for a seam up the left side, and he is hit hard. Yes, My he goodness, number 81 for St. Henry. That's Dominic Schwartz. Dominic you laid the wood to oh, Yes, he? he did. That was a textbook tackle, and he will feel that tomorrow morning. Good job hanging on to the football. My goodness, he come out there like a bullet train and hit him hard. So Minster will take over with a 47-yard line, first and 10. That's where Brogan Steffi, who got his 10th touchdown of the year in the first half, 10th touchdown rushing, I should say. So he'll lead the troops out again. They are in the I formation as they'll start Steffi under center, and he's got two receivers to his left. So let's see if they run a little power game here against the St. Henry front. They're going to hand off to the first man up front, and they get nothing, nothing. That is, maybe, Darren, that may be a the loss of two. The yeah. big fella stop gapping it right there, along with Mr. Kunkler. Yeah, they tried to go to a little run pass option right there. And, and it looked like. They bottled it up, didn't they? Yeah, it looked like Brogan Steffi handed it off, but I think he kept that ball himself and went into that pile, and they found no success there. So let's see what kind of formation they'll get. Yeah, they, they, were in the, uh, they were under center the first one. They come out in the gun now. He's got receivers to his left and to his right, two on each side, and a single setback off to his left. 
So Steffi's in the gun. He gets the ball. He looks over to the left side. He finds Kaus out there, and Kaus is immediately hit. hit. And, he, loose, and so they are calling it, incomplete. calling it an incomplete pass. And it looked to me like he caught it, turned, and then was hit. So he didn't make what they call the traditional football move. But uh, boy, if it's a that's, controversial, that's two yeah, he's taken. yes, it is. You are correct. Kaus has been hit twice, really hard. But I feel for these officials because every play seems to be a close play. <laughs> Kellen Hoying laying the wood on that one right there. So third and 10 with 8.44 to go from the 47-yard line. Steffi's in the gun. He's got a single set back to his left, two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. He takes the ball. He looks across the field, steps up in the pocket, goes to the left side. He takes it himself. He's going to go up the 50 to about the 45. That's where he'll come down way short of a first down. It's going to bring up fourth and about five yards. Chase Littmer on the stop for St. Henry. Good job with Steffi using his feet, stepping up in the pocket, avoiding the pressure put on by Horseman. And I think it looks to me like they're going to go for it from the 47-yard line here. So it's fourth and four. They lead 14 to six on the <clears throat> Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Memorial Field here at Minster High School in MAC action tonight, and they are going to go for it on fourth and four. Interesting to see if they'll snap it or just try to draw them off sides or run a play. Let's see what they do. He's in the gun. He's got a single set back to his left, and he's got two receivers to the right and to the left. And there is a flag comes down. And it's delay like, a game. Uh, yep, delay a game. So that's going to back them up to about fourth and nine, and I think that's going to make their decision for them. That's going to put it on the opposite 49-yard line. And they will punt the ball away. So that will put number 18 back for the Skins. That's Kellen Hoying and number nine, Hayden Beckman. They've been back all night and punt and kick returns. So Grady Wolf will go back in punt formation, and try to pin the skins deep. Minster continues to lead 14 to 6 with 7.49 to go here. Snap is back. Punt is up. Ooh, oh, they heavy. about got it. They didn't sure they? did. Heavy pressure it is a fair catch called, and it's taken at the 35 yard line. That's where St. Henry will take over. Yeah, Darren, they came in really hard that time, and they had five or six guys that almost made the block on that punt. Dehom was really close. He laid out. I think he kept looking at his fingers like he, he got his fingertips he on him. And <laughs> You're right, he did. Just didn't get enough of it. <laughs> he sure did. I think that was Beckman that caught the fair catch there. Nice job securing that football and hitting the turf with it. Because if he doesn't catch that, it's going to get a minster bounce and probably get another 10 or 15 yards. So Curtis put off, and the St. Henry Redskins will take over from the 24-yard line. He's in the gun. He's got a single set back off to his left. He's got two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. He gets the ball, throws to the right side. He's got a man out there in space, gets across, and picks up about nine yards, and a nice job by number 28 for the Skins. That's Harrison Wendell, and he did a great job of making the most out of a simple yeah, pitching catch. He broke that first tackle, and then... Smeezing got him by the ankles, but not after he got nine yards after the catch. So that's going to bring up second and about two, a gain of eight on the first down play. Second and one, they're calling it, so gain of nine on the play. So here comes put off. He's got one back to his left. He's got two receivers to the right and two receivers to the left. He'll take the snap here. He's got a man in motion. He'll take the snap, fake the hand of the man in motion. He'll give it to the back, and that's number 32 for the Skins. And that's Logan Dehan, and he is taken down. I don't think he picked up the first down, Darren. No, I don't think so. Uh, it appeared to be Adam Rindler stepping up. Well, you notice they moved, they, they put that tight end in motion to bring those linebackers across the field, and then they went the way where the linebackers just walked away from, and it didn't work out because the left or the uh, tackle stayed at home and just blew up that play. Well, that Rindler, number nine, he come up and really did a good job containing the football and and just stopping the runner in his tracks, letting his teammates come in and mop up the play. So let's see if they go over their left side. It looks like they're overloading the left side here. Third and one, put off under center. He's going to hand off to the second back through, and it looks like he's going to get the first down. Yeah, he wrestled his way there, didn't he? Wendell with the first down, and it's exactly what he does. So you're right, Darren. They loaded up that left side, and they went right behind those big Bruisers up front. Yeah, and Luthman did a really good job shedding those two uh, left side 
tackle positions there where they overloaded the side. Unfortunately, he just couldn't contain the, the effort of St. Henry's running back and give him a first down. Big first down. Absolutely. So here come the skins. First and 10 from the 35. Put offs in the gun. He's got a back to the right and to the left. A single receiver to his right. High snap. He throws off to the left side. He's got a receiver out there, and that play is called dead. Uh, late flag comes in, and they're saying it was false start. False start. Off against the St. Henry offensive line. That'll back him up five. A lot of penalties tonight, there, a lot of penalties. I was getting ready to say the same thing. I said, oh boy, a lot of laundry on the field tonight. Almost almost like a week one game here. Oh. We're at week six. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the cold weather. I don't know. Maybe it's just the physicality of the game. But uh, clean first quarter. And boy, since then, we've had a lot of penalties. So 5.23 to go. Clock continues to run. Minster leads 14 to six. Put offs in the gun. He's got three receivers to his left now and a single receiver to the right. He's gonna go back to that single receiver and he throws over top of him, target intended for Brody Schwartz. And he had him wide open, he sure just overthrew did. him. And the, and the defensive back from Minster was playing him six yards off, so he catches that, there's nobody behind him. Right. Nobody. He's gonna get six or seven of that back of that, oh, sure. of that penalty, that false start penalty. Unfortunately, just overthrew him. That'll bring up second 15 from the 30. 5-11 to go here. Minster continues to lead 14-6. This is where you want to try to get back 8 or 10 yards of that 15 yards to put yourself in a respectable third down situation. Put off gets the snap. Looks off to his left. He's got a man out there, and he completes the pass to number 28. I think they said he bobbled oh, it. Oh, did he bobble it? Okay, Harrison Wendell. He was hit as soon as he got the pass. Yeah, Wendell, Wendell did a real good job waiting until the the ball got into the fingertips before he decided to put a solid hit on. And a great job by the Wendell. Minster defensive backs. They're keeping those receivers in front of him. They're doing a great job of open field tackles. So here come the skins. Putoff has a back to his left. He's got trips to the left and a single receiver to the right. He takes the snap. He looks across the middle. He steps up. He goes off to the side, looking downfield, throws down the left side. He's got a man wide open and just overshoots him to the sideline. Yeah, he got by the secondary, didn't he? He sure did. He was wide open. And it really was a tough pass by Putoff. He was going to his left, throwing back across his body. So even the strongest of quarterback has a hard time with that pass. That'll bring up fourth down. That'll put St. Henry in punt formation. They'll have to punt to Cowles, who's back deep at the 40-yard line. You get the feeling here that both teams playing a little tentatively right now, Darren. One mistake could really cost either of these teams. Well, they can't get any rhythm. Yeah, you're right. You know, the, the rhythm in between the second quarter and now there's been an awful lot of laundry on the field. So a low line driver. Kaus is going to get a return on that. And there's he gets it up to the 30, to the 45, to the 50. Flag and down. And we got a block in the back. And another flag comes down. So I think that one's right around the M. I, and another block in the back, you're right, Darren, against Minster, Minster so that's going to back it up. So a flag on every play now. Seems like we're, uh, <laughs> we're kidding. Well, you know, and I understand, I understand both sides of it. Sure. Because if you don't call them, oh, absolutely, no, then no. it's going to get out of hand. Well, I'm, I'm, so, yeah, I'm not saying anything bad about the officials. It's, it's just it is it's a case right now. It's, it's just a play or flag on every play. And it's, it's a crazy played game tonight. You it know sure what I'm has. Yeah, it's just yes. been one of those where it started out very physical and then it yeah. got a little chippy and then the hands got active and so here come the it's wild been very active from the 40 hands. yard line. Brogan Steffi is in the gun. He's got a man in motion. His tight end goes across. Now he's in the slot. Steffi takes the ball. He comes off to the left side. He's going to be taken down. Oh, oh my goodness. The big goodness. Fella. Number Hello. 77, Dustin Quinter grabs Brogan Steffi and just kind of. So that's it. Yeah, throws no, him down. No further you're going. Like a rag doll. My goodness. He's going to lose about two yards off that play. He made the play, but his teammates also did a really good job getting up the line of scrimmage, taking on their blockers, allowing him to 
to make that play. Here comes the, the blitz. Steffi just misses his receiver. Just misses his receiver. Yeah, Minster's made some adjustments against this, this blitz action. They're starting to pick it up now. Let's see if St. Henry decides to change their formation of their blitz package. So third and 11 with 4.02 to go. Minster leads 14 to six. Be interesting, we see a little bubble screen here or something like that if St. Henry continues to. So Steffi is in bring the, the pressure. Steffi gets the snap, looks across the field. He's going across the middle. He's got a man out there and a nice pitch and catch across midfield. I believe it's Smeezing. He's got oh, my mistake. Niemeyer out Go there. Niemeyer. A great pitch and catch. Sure was. Logan DeHaan on the stop. First down. Minster. 350. To go here, Minster leads 14 to six, and Brogan Steffi with an absolute dart across the middle of the field. To your bread and butter, huh? That's right. You said it all night, brother. James Niemeyer and Brogan Steffi are a good combination. So Steffi's in the gun. He's got a back to his right. He's got two receivers to the right and a single receiver to the left. And that's where he'll go is the single receiver to the left. Back to Niemeyer on the left side, and he just churns up more yards up to about the 22-yard line, and he was way open on that one, Darren. Ran out of bounds by Horseman. Put off. Another first down for Minster. Yeah, the pitch and catch right now is definitely this, this series are starting to hook it up for Minster. Here comes Minster, they're in the gun. They've got a single setback to the left. They've got two receivers to the right, one to the left. Steffi in the gun, he takes the ball. He's gonna keep it himself, he's gonna go up the middle. Gonna pick up maybe two yards. That'll bring up second down. Big stop, big hit there by Jeremy Niekamp. Good job stepping up in the hole, bringing down the ball carrier. Looks like he got about two, partner, on that one. 2.57 to go here. Looks like. We got an injury. Looks like I think we got an official's timeout. We got a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 2.54 to go. And Mr. Wildcats lead 14 to 6 right here on WSN. Welcome back to Minster High School, where the injured player was Chad Schulte, the 6'1", 300-pound junior, uh, comes off the field, walks off on his own. Uh, he's being attended to by the trainers, so he looks like he's going to be okay. I hope he does. Looks like a left ankle. Yeah, I think you're right. Good job by Mr. Schultz. He got up and walked off under his own power. So here comes Minster. Throws the ball off to the left side, and Brogan Steffi misses the intended target, and there's another flag. I think he was going to, I think that was a lineman he threw to right there. Because the lineman looked at the ball, went flying by him. A lot of pressure there put on by Horseman. So 2.36 to go. Minster continues to lead 14 to six. They've got the ball on the 23 yard line, trying to punch in another touchdown. And, and, and right now, another touchdown would be huge and it puts them up two scores. But the way that Minster's defense is playing right now, you gotta feel really good about where you are. Oh, at 14 to six, absolutely. You know, St. Hendry, you know, big stop here, get the football back. They got him in a third and eight situation. You got to think it's a two down territory, a two down situation if you're Minster. Here's Brogan Steffi in the gun. He's got two receivers to his right. 
is going to step up in the pocket and fire across the left side. He's got Niemeyer out there, and boy, Niemeyer's just getting whatever he wants right now, Darren. That defensive backfield is having all kinds of trouble with him. Yeah, they're giving just a little bit too much space. He threw that football to the sticks and got just enough to get that first down. Nice little pitch and catch. Put off at the boundary over there, shoved him out of bounds. So 2.31 to go. Minster leads 14 to 6. They've got the ball on the 14-yard line, trying to punch in another touchdown here. St. Henry's defense trying to stifle up, stifle up here. And the ball goes into the end zone, and it just goes off the left side. And he had him out there, but it would have took a heck of an effort and a heck of a throw. Yeah, put off, closed down a little bit defensively on the receiver right there on Niemeyer. Like you said, they tried a little pitch and catch, throwing to the pylon. Good coverage there, Mr. Putoff. So 2.26 to go. Minster leads 14 to 6. Second 10 from the 14. Brogan Steffi's in the gun. He's getting. Got the ball, throws off to the right side. He's got a man out there. He's got Niemeyer, touchdown, Minster. What a strike from Brogan Steffi to Niemeyer on the right side of the end zone. One pylon to the other side, huh? <laughs> That's an Allen Davis Insurance touchdown. Touchdowns are presented by Allen Davis Insurance, your solution provider specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. That puts the Minster Wildcats up 20-6 to six on an absolute beautiful strike from Steffi to Niemeyer. Well, he threw it exactly where he needed to, to the pylon, and the only person who was going to catch it was his teammate, and if not, it was going to go out of bounds. Here's the point after try. The kick is up, and it is good. That puts the lead at 21 to 6. 2.19 to go here in the third quarter. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School, where the Minster Wildcats have taken a 21 to 6 lead with 2.19 to go here until. Fourth quarter, nice drive by the Wildcats as they really flex their muscle on that play, Darren. Yeah, they also did a good job with clock management. They took some huge chunks of time off on that possession. Nice little return here. Great return by St. Henry as they bring it all the way up to midfield. Logan Dehan. Logan Dehan with a Dehan, great. Dehan, my apologies. <laughs> great response to the Minster touchdown, and now it's time for St. Henry to get busy as they're down two scores, 21 to six. I apologize if I've uh, incorrectly pronunciated his name. It's Dehan. I think I've been calling him Dehan, so my apologies to him and his family. 2.10 to go here. Minster continues to lead 21-6. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Minster High School. We're in MAC action tonight. Here comes put off as he goes to the right side. Nice yardage, picks up about five yards thrown back. It's going to be more like a four-yard gain. Thought it looked like he was going to get some big yardage off the right side. But, he did uh, for a little while. He sure did, Niemeyer yeah. Come up in, from the safety position. The last five minutes has been the James Niemeyer show. Darren, <laughs> offensively mm -hmm. and defensively, yep. he's done a fantastic job. So that'll make it second and six from the 46-yard line. 1.39 to go. The clock continues to run. Going to have Put the up. kid two more years. Sorry. Yeah, Danny no, Hayes you're fine. He is, absolutely. My goodness. Put off, hand off to the first man up. He gets a huge yardage of about eight yards. Somebody got him at the ankles just to slow him down and trip him up. I think that was number nine. Yeah, I think you're right. And that was Wendell on the ball. And the carry. Rindler. Picks up a first down. That's going to take the ball across the 45 to about the 43-yard line. Sneezing. Sophomore. Goodness gracious. So put offs in the gun. He's got two backs, one to his right, one to his left. He's got a single receiver to his right and two receivers to his left. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, 
Looks across the middle, throws long across the middle, and he's got a man wide open. Oh, big throw, They're gonna, big catch, and he took a lick, too. Yes, he did, and that's going to put it down right at the goal line, and that was Nolan Kunkler with a big-time catch, and that's going to set the skins up first and goal at the one-yard line. Yes, yeah, Smeezing, Charlie Smeezing laid the wood to put off, give put off credit. He stuck in there, took the hit, and delivered it. Darren, if the Skins can punch it in here before the fourth huge. quarter, that is huge, and that puts them right back in this ball game. And a beautiful throw, a beautiful throw from Curtis Putoff. He just let it go, and he's got a, str a stronger arm. Work. Yeah, he sure did. Stood in the pocket and made a beautiful play. So here come the Skins. They're in the power eye. They're going to hand off to the tailback. Wendell, he's going to go off the left side, and I don't think he got in. See where they spotted. Yeah, I think they got him at about the half yard line. Harrison Wendell is short. That'll put him right at the one yard line. That'll make it second and goal. And I don't think they're going to get another playoff to start until the fourth quarter here. So Minster did a really good job staying low, staying in their lanes right there and just bottled everything up. So that will do it as we end the third quarter in St. Henry banging on the door to try to put another few points on the board. We start the fourth quarter. Minster leads 21-6. to You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School where we're starting the fourth quarter here. St. Henry's got it second in goal from the goal line with a chance to cut it to a one-score lead. They're down 21-6. to six. Put off is under center. He's got two backs to his backside. He's got a fullback and a tailback. He's going to pitch the ball to the tailback to Wendell. Wendell goes off the left side, and he gets in for the touchdown. It's a Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Your solution provider specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. So just like that, St. Henry right back in the game. And you got to wonder, Darren, if they're going to go for two here or if they're going to wait until, see if they score again. Maybe let's see what they decide to do here. Well, I'm trying to keep an eye on Steffi. He come up, made the hit there on uh, Wendell. Wendell. And he come up a little uh, gimpy there. I don't know if it was a back or a side issue, but, yeah, he's – so they will, He's feeling uh, it right now. They will go for two. They've got three receivers to the left of Putoff. Putoff gets the snap. He throws off to the right side, and it is almost picked off, and it is no good. So that leaves it at 21 to 12. So still, still two scores down. So uh, that's that's the uh, price you pay sometimes when you go for two there. So 21 to 12 with 11.55. We come back. We'll have the exciting conclusion for Minster High School. You're watching High School Football on WS. Welcome back to Minster High School with 11.55 to go. St. Henry scores, and they cut the lead to 21-12. to St. Henry will kick off the Minster, but uh, not, they did not get the two-point conversion. That uh, still keeps them nine down here. They'll have to score twice to win this ballgame. Kick from St. Henry. It's going to be fielded by Kaus at the 25. And he is taken down immediately by number 18, Kellen, Kellen Hoying. So a lot of a lot of kids playing two ways tonight for both these schools, both, Darren. Yeah, yeah, both schools. You see it at smaller schools, and uh, not that Minster and St. Henry are big schools, but uh, typically have 40 to 50 kids go out for the. Uh, Team. And we noted uh, at halftime how big the bands were for both these schools. Both, both yeah. fantastic bands that they put the show on at halftime. So, and it's awesome. You know the kids are involved in, in numerous things at both schools, and that's great to see. So 11:50 to go here. Minster leads 21-12. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Memorial Field here at Minster High School. Brogan Steffi is under center. I'm sorry, he's in the gun. Excuse me. They've got the tight end. And another flag comes down. Could be a substitution foul, maybe. I'm not real sure what they called on this. Illegal substitution is the call. So continued flags on both teams. The 
So Steffi's in the gun. He's got the tight end in the slot position. He's got a single back to his left. And he's got receiver to his right and to his left. If you're St. Henry, you gotta like that. Now you got him in a first and 15 situation. Exactly, so Steffi takes the ball. He's gonna run off the right side himself. He's gonna pick up about maybe three yards, not back to the original line of scrimmage. So that'll bring up second in about 12 from the, well, I'll say 31 yard line. Wendell on the stop. So St. Henry oh, desperately. Kellen Hoying also. Kellen Hoying. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. So St. Henry desperately trying to get a stop here so they can get the ball back. Well, a lot of time left. They, they, you know, they've got to get the football back and get a sustained drive here. But great opportunity here. Put them in a third and long situation. They can get, make a play defensively here and then get the football back and see what happens. So here's Steffi as he gets the snap. He's under heavy pressure. He steps up. He's got a man going down the left side, and he just overshoots him. He had number 10 out there, and he had Connor Schmiesing all, all alone on the left side, and he just overshot the gap. Very impressive stepping up in the pocket because he was under pressure. Yeah, his pocket awareness is really Ooh, good. His feet, he's very good with his feet stepping up or avoiding and then turn around and Throws a missile almost 60 yards right there. So that's going to bring up third and long, about 12 yards from the 32. So as Darren said earlier, he, see Henry did what they wanted to get Minster in third and long. So now steffi has got three receivers to his right. He's got a single back off to his right side. He gets the ball. He looks across the field. He's going to throw long down the right side, and he's got Kaus out there, and he gets him on a dime, and Kaus picks up a first down and about 40 yards to beat. Point pushing him out at the boundary. He appears to be down about, what, the 25-yard line? 25-yard line, yeah, and an absolute missile from Brogan Steffi to Kaus, and he was wide open. Oh, did they say he Oh, okay, they moved the ball up quite a bit. Now he's at the 37. Uh, they said he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, he must have just caught it then and stepped out. Here comes Brogan Steffi. He's got three to the left, one to the right. He's under heavy pressure. He steps up. He goes to the right. He's going to keep it himself. He goes up the right sideline. He's going to step out of bounds about a yard short of the first down. recognition right there, avoiding the pressure. Chase Littmer applying some real solid pressure there, just couldn't chase him down. So that'll make it second and five from the 32 yard line. 10.40 to go here, Minster continues to lead 21-12. Rogan Steffi's in the gun, he's got it back to his right and two receivers off to the right side. He gets the snap, he's under pressure again. He throws a screen pass, gets up to a, over the first down marker and he picks up a first down for Minster. Justin Bergman with a nifty catch and move all the way up the field. Kellen Hoying again on the stop for the Redskins. They continue to use that right side. Well, they're gaining yardage and they're also taking time off the clock. An impressive drive here by the Minster Wildcats. Clock continues to run. Yeah, we're starting to see a lot of hands on the hips. Yeah, I was going to say, first yeah, we're seeing yep. being tired. The teams have been out there a long time yep. tonight. Thank goodness it's a cool evening. Yes, you're absolutely right. So here comes Brogan Steffi. He's got two receivers to his right. He gets the snap, looks across the field, steps up in the pocket. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to take it himself up the right side, goes back to the middle, and is taken down. He's going to be about three yards short of a first down. Boy, he gets out in the Here's field. He is window. elusive. Got him by the jersey to slow him up. And there is a late flag, and you got to believe that's going to be a personal foul against somebody for something that was said or done. And Steffi's coming off the field looking at his coaches upset about something. Let's see what they're going to call here. So it is a personal foul, unsportsmanlike conduct against Minster. 
And I don't. Did you see what happened there? No, I did not because I, it was all in the yeah in in the play over there. I know that Wendell got him by the jersey. He tried to avoid him with a quick spin move, and Wendell had him by the jersey. And then his teammates come in. I don't know if something was said or. Yeah, well, and that's that's exactly what I was going to say. It looked like maybe something was said to the official because it did not look like there was any punches thrown or anybody you know any contact other than the tackle itself. Or something could have been said to another player and the sure, official sure. heard it. We just don't know, but we know the marker went down and the official was right near the, the violation. And they have stopped play again. So, and the, the crowd now is just getting a little aggravated here. We can hear things here in the booth. The stoppage of play is just there's been a lot of it tonight. So now they're going to wind the clock, and here we go with the 9.37 mark. Minster with the ball, second 20 from the 31-yard line. Rogan Steffi in the gun. He's got a single set back to his left, and he's got two receivers to his left and no one on the right side. Let's see if he goes to his favorite target here. He's in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's going to roll to his left. He's going to throw back to the left side, and he's got a man out there and a nice catch by number three, Devin Whoopker, and a really nice catch as he had to stretch to get that one. D. Han and Mr. Hoing in on the stop. <laughs> on the stop. They've been on the stop all night. Nice catch there by uh, Devin Whoopker. Whoopker? Yes. Yep. Nice catch. So we saw, we saw James Niemeyer dominate the last possession. They haven't went back to him this possession, but other guys have stepped up and they've moved the ball down the field. Well, there's no question it's been, you know, the sure. arm that's that has got Minster where they're at right now with 21 on the board. So here Excuse comes me. Niemeyer on the reverse. They're going to go back to Kaus on the left side, and he's going to throw it to Brogan Steffi for the touchdown. A little bit of razzle dazzle there. So Brogan Steffi hands to James Niemeyer. He flips it back to Kaus, and Kaus finds Brogan Steffi down the left side. A fantastic play by the Minster Wildcats. I think he considered running it until he looked <laughs> yeah. up and he saw Steffi wide open. Wow. Usually you see those plays on Sports Center or something. You don't get to see them in real life, and they put together a great play there, and now they're up for the PAT. That is an Allen Davis Insurance touchdown, specializing in auto, home, business, insurance, and more. Allen Davis Insurance is our touchdown sponsor. Yeah, you got St. Henry going the opposite direction, and when you do that and you start to see the hands on the hips, it's not because of lack of effort by no, the white you're right. red. So with 9.08 to go, the Minster Wildcats extend their lead 28 to 12 right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Minster High School with 9.08 to go. The Minster Wildcats extend their lead 28 to 12 over the St. Henry Redskins. That was all Brogan Steffi on that drive as he passed and ran the ball and a little bit of razzle-dazzle to end that scoring drive. Yeah, now he's a receiver. <laughs> now he's a receiver, and he does it all for the Minster Wildcats. So a deep kick back to the seven-yard line. He'll be fielded there. He'll bring it up across the 20 to the 25-yard line. That's where he'll be taken down. And now the St. Henry Redskins are in real hurry-up mode as they are down 28 to 12. Cows so on the stop. Born horse cleaned it up. Season 18 of the Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Hamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Patrick Hamler will be a host, guest host of mine tomorrow on Out of Bounds with Danny Holbrook on 93.1 The Fan. He'll be joining me in the booth. Excited about that. Let's see what St. Henry comes up with here offensively. So here comes Curtis put off. He's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the right, to the left, and another flag comes down. We got a false start. A false start. So that is about the umpteenth flag that's been thrown by this crew tonight. So Yeah, Caleb Sharp is coming up aggressively on that letter, that right side of St. Henry's offense. 
and I think that forced the right tackle to flinch a little bit. So here comes put off in the skins. He's got a man in motion. He's going to take the snap. He looks across, steps up, throws deep down the left side. He's got a man out there in single coverage, and it's defended well. A great job. And they're, oh my goodness, are they going to call pass interference on that play? I, I, I'll be honest, I think that other official's telling him that dead. That, are they going to wave that off? Yeah, they're going to wave. Uh, my goodness. So they're waving that play off, and uh, I'll tell you what, there's a flag down at the 15 also. <sighs> so we've just got flags everywhere tonight. And what I was going to say is put off really, really threw a nice ball right there. But uh, Devin Webker did a great, great job running down that wide receiver and deflecting that football there. That's two big plays he's had tonight, getting his hands on it. I know it doesn't show on the scoreboard, but Mr. Putoff's had a nice ball game. He has, you're Saint absolutely Henry. right. 8.54 to go, Putoff's in the gun. He's got receivers to the right, receivers to the left. He takes the snap. He fakes the pass, goes deep down the middle. He's got a man out there, and it's picked off. Picked off by number 14 from Minster. That's Noah Schwederman with the interception. And, boy, that comes at a costly time, Darren. Yes, it was. But when you're down. Sure, sure, absolutely. You know, 16, you've got to make a decision and change your game plan. And now they're going to his arm. And nice play there by well, it, and I think we both agree that that at the 8.52 mark, if Minster puts it in the end zone again, this game's going to look a lot, lot worse than what it really is because this has been a close contest all night. In fact, we saw earlier St. Henry had the early lead. Oh, it was a great first half of football, and, you know, nip and tuck of both, of both teams. Minster's just made the plays here in this third quarter in this early part of the fourth quarter, and there's another big one right there example on that interception. So 8.52 to go. Here comes Brogan Steffi the Minster Wildcats. He's in the gun. He hands off to the first man through, and he's going to get about six to seven, you know, maybe eight yards in great effort you spoke by too number soon, 27. I, I did. Nine yards <laughs> yeah, there. Justin Bergman, it looked like he was down after the first five yards, Darren, and he just kept churning his legs, and he picks up nine yards. Well, I think that's his first carry of the night, if I'm not mistaken. So having right. those fresh legs in there just kept churning them and churning them. They, unofficially, they have him for seven yards, according to the sticks. But up here, it looked like it was nine, didn't it? It did. It sure did. It sure did. He was right on the first down marker. So that'll bring up second and three from the 27-yard line. Clock continues to run. Mr. Lee, 28-12. As they're picking up big yardage here. Brogan Steffi's in the gun, and they're going to be another flag thrown down in Minster. Well, the flag was thrown, but Minster got the timeout. So with 8.02 to go, Minster will take another timeout. You're watching High School Sports on WS. Welcome back to Minster High School. 8.02 to go. The Wildcats lead the St. Henry Edgkins 28 to 12. They continue to drive the ball down the field. They're on the 27-yard line. Brogan Steffi in the gun. He's got a back to his right and a single receiver, Niemeyer, off to the far left. You've got Niemeyer in single coverage. Let's see if he goes. No, he's going to keep it himself. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to pick up the first down, and that'll be a Minster first down to about the 22-yard line, it looks like. 25, excuse me, sorry. But that is going to be a first down. Yep, Littmer, Chase Littmer. Slowed him down. So 7.44 to go. They haven't shied away from the middle of that line, have they, Gilly? They, they've just continued to go at it, even though they didn't have a lot of success. They've not shied away from it. No, they have not. So here comes and Brogan. Minster's done a better job they on, have. The, on the interior line of pass protecting. This is Steffi. He's going to hand the ball off. 
Oh, he's going to keep it himself. He had me faked out. Hold you. My goodness. He went around the right side. And he had a hard, or a, that was a hard one to figure out because the entire crowd thought Brogan Steffi handed the ball off, and he kept it himself. And he picked up big time yardage. Well, he did a really good job reading that defensive end when that blitz was yes, coming. Yes, he did. That is a great call. He, he kept it. That'll bring up second and two from the 16-yard line with 7.15 to go. Minster continues to lead 28-12. Brogan Steffi's in the gun. He's got a single back to his left. He's got a receiver to his right. He's got James Niemeyer out to the left side. He's going to hand the ball off, goes up the middle for a gain of about three yards, but it'll pick up another Minster first down. Conkler got him by the ankles. Justin, the Redskins. Yes, Justin Bergman has been the workhorse here in the second half. Brush legs. That's exactly right. So great halftime adjustments that we talked about by the Minster Wildcats. And they found the answer here in the middle of that line. Clock continues to run. We're at the 649 mark. First and 10 from the 14. Rogan Steffi in the gun. He's had a fantastic night tonight, rushing and throwing. He's got a single set back to his right side, and the receiver to the left and to the right. Steffi takes the ball. He's going to hand the ball off to Bergman. Bergman goes up the middle, and he's hit by a host of Redskins for little to no gain. And that's okay. They keep the clock running. They're, they're content with that. Yep. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at wsn.tv slash John Reed. Tate Layfeld on the stop, last possession, along with Chase Whitmer, or Letmer, excuse me, Letmer. So Minster will take the ball, second and 10 from 14. Rogan Steffi in the gun. He's got a receiver to a right and to the left. He takes the ball. He's going to take it himself off the left side. He's going to be taken down. Wow. Littmer with a big sack. Number 35, Chase Littmer. Looks like he got shot out of a cannon, Darren. And he takes Brogan Steffi down for a big time loss. Now St. Henry's going to take a timeout with a 5.37 to go. You're watching High School Sports right here on WOS. Welcome back to Minster High School. 5.37 to go, and the Wildcats lead 28 to 12 and trying to put another touchdown on the board. Rogan Steffi is in an empty backfield now as he's got trips to the right. He looks across the field, throws across the middle, and he's got a man out there, and he just overshoots the intended receiver, and that was number 10. Connor Schmeasling out there, and he just missed him, Darren. Nice nice play. I was thinking of the pass that the kid from the Steelers had, where he got one hand <laughs> on right. last night. He almost pulled good. it off right there. He sure did. He put it the only place his receiver could catch mm -hmm. it. Put it he on got the, a hand on it. Yeah, the back line of there. So it looks like that'll bring up fourth and 15 from the 19-yard line. So Minster will go for a three-point attempt here. Oh, my goodness, 35 yards. 35 yards. And he's got plenty of leg. We watched him. Yes, he did. This is Brogan Steffi. points. And he gets it up, and it is way good enough. My goodness, Darren, he could have got that from 40. So Brogan Steffi runs, throws, catches, and kicks the Minster Wildcats to points on the scoreboard with 5.25 to go. Minster leads 31 to 12 right here on WOSN. Well, with 5.25 to go, Darren, the, the people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and didn't ascend to 10 this game, and they're going to see a 31 to 12 possible score that ends this game. And they're going to think to themselves, dominated by Minster. But you and I both know this was a, this I was was just a tough physical ready to bring game. It up to you. Yeah. I didn't say anything during the break, but yeah. you know, a lot of credit goes to you. Got to give St. Henry a lot of credit. They have battled and battled and battled, and it is not a 19-point game. Right. Well, they came in with a great game plan. They were going to dominate the middle of that line, and they did in the first quarter, and to an extent, the first half. There's the kickoff, and it'll be brought back to the. It's been, the arm, it's been the arm of Steffi. Yes, you're right. Brogan Steffi. He has. set the tone. They knew coming in what he's capable of doing. And, you know, he's proved 
certain of he's a, a top-notch quarterback in the MAC as, as well as this area. And uh, well, here's what it does, Darren. If if this lead holds true, Minster goes to four and two and three and one in the MAC, and they're right in the middle of the whole MAC, you know, race. Because as we look, Marion Local and uh, Coldwater's going to have to play, and, and it's just you know, there's a lot of football left. Right, there's a lot of football left, and. You don't know what they're going to do in the playoffs. Right, right. And and this team has lost. Minster has lost to Marion Local already. There's a long oh, pass a down the middle throw, of the field from putoff to number 11, Nolan Kunkler. And he makes a great catch for a huge gain. And that puts St. Henry right in the position to get into the end zone. I'm really impressed with Mr. Putoff. He's done a great job. Though, he has there? done a great job. I know his stats doesn't show it coming in but he's threw two or three really nice balls deep. He gets another connection. This one out to about the 18 yard line. It's number 28 for the Skins. Harrison Wendell, who's carried a lot of the load tonight for the Skins. And he's gonna get bigger, he's gonna get stronger, just like Steffi. And as I was saying earlier, Minster's already played Marion Local. They lost 34 to nothing. But as a, again, there's a lot of football left. So a, a win here tonight by Minster gives him the three and one MAC record and still puts one him right in the middle. Behind. Exactly, one game behind. So anything's possible. So here comes St. Henry. Curtis put off. He's got two receivers to his left. He's got a man in motion, a single back. And another flag got comes a down. Yep, we got a false start. <laughs> got a false start. We had looked like we had two guys in motion there, which is a no-no. You know, I don't have the schedule in front of me on who is remaining for St. Henry, but uh, scouting report-wise, this team does a lot of good things, and you better be prepared when they step on the field on Friday night because – Well, that offensive and defensive line is as good as we've seen, and mm -hmm. they, they lack a few, uh, you know, things here and there, but uh, still a dangerous team they to have to face. Hard. They do. They do play hard, and, and look. It's, Linebackers uh, are very active. Littmer's active. Wendell's active. Putoff's in the gun. He's going to roll to his left. He's under heavy pressure, and he's going to be taken down, and he's going to be sacked for a loss of about eight, nine yards. A great job by the front seven of Minster. Trying to see who it was. Bornhorst. Bornhorst comes out of <laughs> – and he just takes him down. Danny Stallman. So that puts St. Henry behind here. 4.35 to go. Put off, looks across. He's throwing deep down the right side, and it's almost intercepted, and it's going to fall short. But great coverage by number eight for Minster. That's Dylan Heitkamp, the 5'8 sophomore, did a great job of smothering the receiver. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say the same thing. He did a nice job keeping his hand on that hip of the receiver and playing on the inside shoulder of that receiver and getting the deflection. I forgot to mention Kellen Hoying. He's been all over the place tonight, yes, too. Does. So a lot, of, a lot of tired kids tonight on both ball clubs. So here comes put off. He's got a single back. He's got two receivers to the right and to the left. He gets the snap. He looks across the middle. He throws deep. He's got a man out there, and it just misses. Number 11, Nolan Kunkler. He had him open. He threw off the wrong shoulder. So it'll be a turnover on downs, and that'll give Minster the ball back with 4.23 to go. And, partner, if they can get together a few first downs, this one will be in the books. Okay, another nice thrown ball, though. Tight yes, it spiral was. on it. I just think the receiver happened to turn the wrong direction, and they had six points. The premier community sponsor for the Minster Wildcats is the Minster Bank, supporting the youth of our communities. Minster Bank is our premier sponsor. 4.23 to go on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Minster leads 31 to 12, and again we we look at the stats and uh, you know pretty even on some things. But uh, you're right, Brogan Steffi was the difference. He's the best player on the field, and when you have the best player on the field and you've got the momentum like Minster's had, it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, and now the looks like the coach for St. Henry is in the middle of the field talking to the officials. Not real sure what this is about. Would love to have a microphone down there, Gilly. So we can. Do... 
So let's see here what Minster does. It's like St. Henry's going to a second. And Minster, team. yeah, yeah, you're right. Both, both, yeah. both ball clubs trying to get some kids in, yeah. which is great to see to get some experience. Yeah. Brogan Steffi is out, and Cole Richard, the 5'11 sophomore, is in for the Wildcats, so he gets a chance to lead the Wildcats down the field. And I, I got to believe you're just going to see the ball get handed off. Uh, 414 to go. Be the clock careful. continues to run. <laughs> yeah. He may let the kid, you know, throw it here. <laughs> Let him wind up and throw one deep. <laughs> yep. and you never know. You never know. Second 11 from the 30-yard line. Cole Richard in at quarterback. He's in the gun. He's got a single set back. He's got a receiver to the right and receiver to the left. John Keller in the backfield now. Look at Richards waiting for that play clock. He's, he's calling this like a veteran out there. <laughs> going to take that down, and Richards going to hand the ball off. Goes nice off the left side. There, huh? Nice job by number 32 for Minster. That's John Keller, the 5'7 junior. Boy, he looked quick, Darren. He looked real quick. A little, little spin action there. <laughs> Got about three or four. Great effort. Also in the game, number 21, Max Trying to see who's in the ball on the, on the field now. It looks like Luthman's one of the tackles. Yeah, I love to recognize all the different players that have come in the game that have waited their turn. Their, their time to shine right now, so we will get you their names as we get the numbers. Bornhorst, I believe he's in. This is Richard. He gets the snap. He's going to throw to their left side. He's got a man out there, and he just dropped it. That was number 23, the intended target. Connor Garrett, the six-foot senior, as he drops the ball. Keaton Sharp. And on the offensive line. That'll take it to 251 in the fourth quarter here. Evan Pranger. Minster will punt the ball away. Back deep for St. Henry's, number 24. Danny Stammen and number two, Michael Gonzalez. Stammen and Gonzalez back deep, and the punt is up, and it is going to be Nice punt. Nice punt. It would go out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. That's where St. Henry will take over. So I just wonder if uh, St. Henry's going to bring in some uh, some reserves and let them play or if they're going to continue to try to put points on the board. We'll see what they do when they come out. Big game tomorrow night in the shoe, Darren. Who do you like, Ohio State, Wisconsin? You better say what I think you said. <laughs> you know, it's... Whoever they play this year is going to have a tough time stopping them. Sure. Because sure. they just have so many weapons. Sure. You know, they got wide receivers that are going to go in the first round of the draft. They got a quarterback that they're projecting in the top five of the draft. Um, it's, all, it's all going to come down to the defense You're right. this year. Yep. It's You're going to come back to that front four and then your linebackers and obviously your secondary. Um, but they're going, to, they're, they're going to be a tough one to beat. Absolutely. So here comes St. Henry, and they do have some reserves in here. We'll try to get their names and match up the uniform numbers. 2.43 to go here. I think it's Broering's the quarterback, I believe, number 20. And there was a fumble, and you're right. That was number 20, Eli Broering. Braring, excuse me. Dominic uh, Meyer on the stop, the and freshman. Braring dropped the ball and picked it up and had the wherewithal to try to get out of that and uh, doesn't get much of a gain there. The clock's going to continue to run at 2.18. Minster leads 31-12. to 12. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, enjoyed having you join us this evening for MAC action from Minster High School. St. Henry's going to fall to 1-5, Darren. 0-4 oh in the MAC. Minster moves to 4-2 and 3-1 and in and the MAC. Nice pass in the flats from Braring to Stammen. Braring Banged finds out Stammen, of bounds goes by out of number bounds. 21, Max Kanapke, six-foot sophomore. I'm just going to say it, Darren, and, I, and maybe I'm wrong here, but I got a feeling St. Henry's going to going to upset somebody that they shouldn't this year. I just I see a lot of fight in these kids, and I see a well-coached team, mm -hmm. and, and uh, they don't quit. And uh, I, I think they're going to upset somebody before it's all said and done. 
Yeah, they go back to practice and clean up some of the little things. Sure. Both, both these ball clubs clean these things up. Yep. It could be a very rewar rewarding rest of the season for both both teams. This is number nice 30, little yeah, run there. 33, Isaiah Horseman, the 5'9 sophomore for a carry for the Redskins. And that's going to bring it 138 to go here. Minster continues to lead 31 to 12. Dominic Meyer and Max Knapp on the stop. Season 18 of the Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Campbell for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Tyler Hess coming in for Minster defensively. And the ball to Horseman right up the middle. And he gets close to a first down. That's going to be about a yard short. Good effort by that young man. Absolutely. Clock goes under a minute. And the clock has stopped. The officials have stopped the clock. Joey Dwinger on the stop. Not real sure if they're going to measure for a first down. Nope, they're going to say it was a first down. So St. Henry gets the first down. <laughs> 48 seconds to go in the game. This could be the last play of the game here. Going to throw across the field. Nice reception made out there sure at the 40-yard line. Poppleman on the stop. Peppelman, excuse Peppelman me. Peppelman on the stop. Nice job by that young man. Going to take the clock to about the 20-second mark. And this should be the last play of the game. St. Henry lines up. Mr. Broering's done a nice job throwing the he football. Yes, he really has. Broering is under center. He's going to roll off to his left, throw the ball. It's completion out there. And Pretty move. it's going to go down at about the 28-yard line, and that's going to end it. The final score from Minster High School, the Wildcats win this one 31-12. Darren, your final thoughts. You know, a lot closer than what the score indicated, just like what we talked about. It come down to the arm. Absolutely, Steffi. Brogan, Brogan Steffi, yep, you're right. And then when he made the decision to run the football, after, you know, he, he set the tone with his arm, I think it was just too much for St. Henry. They gave a great effort. I know their coach is disappointed with the loss, but there was a lot of good things that was displayed on the field tonight by St. Henry, and I'm like you. I think they continue to battle and grapple and, and compete. They're going to upset somebody before the year's done. Big win for Minster. Keeps them in the, you know, the, the MAC talk for a championship, though they're one game behind. Uh, they're, they're still there. They're in the top tier. Absolutely. Well said, Darren. And that will wrap it up from Minster High School, where the Wildcats win 31-12. to For Nick Nunez, Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook saying God bless everyone, and we'll see you next week.